Okay. Jesus. Okay, so that Eldar ship. It does ram. And you guys are escaping at this point. And in the background, you just see massive debris fly past you guys. You're in space. There is no. There is no. There would be no air to disperse that energy to hit you. You just see debris fly past you guys. Uh, so, out of right. So out of the gate. Uh. You believe your mission is completed at this point? Uh, let's 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 detonate our reactor as the Eldar ship is uh, ramming into it. I mean, that's not, not the ship we're on, but you know the ship we left. Let's detonate that reactor. Yeah. Right. I, I would assume you guys would put a timer detonator on there or something of that nature. I would put like a remote detonator on it. Do you guys have a remote uh, detonator? No, oh, do you? Uh, like, in your inventory. I mean, I mean we should. We had something. melt bombs, right? We had enough requisition left over that we could have had special detonator for the bomb that Wait. we were going to place on the thing. I don't think there's an actual requisition for special detonator, though. There's not. Yeah. Okay. But we had enough left over that we easily could have had Absolute, Absolutely. So... No, that's, well, sure, but you definitely see the explosion, or not? You don't see the explosion. You know of the explosion because all the debris is flying past you guys. And let's see. you just want to make sure it's mega dead, right? Just make sure it's mega dead. You guys all hear this. So, like, over your guys' general comm. So. Your team report in. Hi, hello. <laughs> all right. Hello. <laughs> well, we've made out of the Void Entity ship. Kill team report in. You guys hear no reply. <sighs> Alright, we're having some radio interfer interference then or something. All right. Let's get this rust bucket. Let's get the rust bucket towards the Inquisitor, see if we can Make it over there, or at least we could just look like radio. debris at the moment. We might want to get our comms back online. So, are you guys trying we can to do that while we're on the way? So, you guys are making your way towards towards their craft, towards well, where you think they're at, because you, you have no idea where their their vessel is. You just know they're on, they're possibly on the way. Then they said they were like in an asteroid field, hiding from the other ship, and they, well, they're coming. They do not. Uh, the last oh, session, remember. they yeah. right. They they're telling you, hey, watch out! These guys are ramming. Where are we flying towards? Though that's a good question. At the moment, so, nowhere. So I would assume. Right. So. Right. As you. Go ahead. Where are you guys flying to? Let's get out of the asteroid field and then let's just repair the communications equipment if we can. Okay, so as you guys are flying through the asteroid field, a medium-sized asteroid impacts one of your guys' engine cells. And you guys are losing power. Or we're flying out of the field, not through it. 
Oh, I'm I'm aware. All right. This is in transition of leaving the field, leaving yeah, leaving sure. with a yeah in transition. So the one engine you did have is now gone. Oh man, who rolled that check? Oh, I did. <laughs> Can we do something about it? Can I use a fate point so that doesn't happen? <laughs> no. Fate points are for you guys. Wait, you never know until you ask. That's true. You can ask and I can say yes, no. Anyways. <laughs> how much how long do we have the power? Say again? How long do we have the power for? I mean, as soon as that asteroid hits, your ship is immediately just going dark. I put my helmet back on. Right. Minus 60. I'm also assisting with that. Remember, this thing, this thing took explosives and an asteroid now to it. It is... Not in very good shape at all. Uh, would there still be a possibility shield? Be a monk? Or would you drop it? Yeah, it's not going to help on that roll. Oh, oh, you... Uh, I mean, I could, I could still have it up, yeah. yeah. You could fate point that. Hey, guys, uh... Looking out the windows or any any of that nature? Sure, I will. Okay. Should be... Should it be minus forty then? Nice no, try. minus minus twenty. No. Did helping helping would be ten. Yes. The possibility shield would be ten, and then yeah. a fade point is another ten. Yes. No, oh, you put minus fifty. Oh, jeez! Oh my god! Use my fire point. What? No, ninety-two. Yeah, you hold a seventy-seven and a sixty-four. Yeah, ninety-two is your skill. You just have to roll a 62 or less. You got it. Probability is with you. Mm. Yeah. There hey, you go. nailed it. Hold up one second. I'm working on something. Yeah, he rolled real high. Twice. No. The parentheses are what you roll. Well, there's a lot of parentheses in that. Uh, that it's the one there. inside all of the others. Uh, what you get? Let me see. So, I mean, okay. roll. Uh, so you assess that the ship is beyond repairing to get moving again, but you might be able to get uh the the backups working to get uh possibly comms of any kind working. 
Because you, you... And let me... You guys see that little ship? Yep. Uh, oh minus, 80. minus eighty. Is it an enemy ship? I just see our ship. That's your ship, yeah. The drop ship, Thunderhawk. Oh, okay. I thought you said see an enemy ship, and I'm like, nope. No, 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 no. no. See that ship. Uh, did you roll them off? Oh, what am I rolling? You're observing or looking around. Alrighty. I imagine there's no hearing in space, so. No. It's just visuals. Yes. Ooh. That's oh. pretty good. That's also pretty bad. That you rolled a 96. Bad. Remember, you can use our possibilities. Oh, most yeah, yeah, so there you're already you're going up to the front <clears throat> and the entire window to you just seems like, man, this is pitch black. I don't know what's going on here. As soon as you get up oh, there. maybe I should turn the blast shield off. You push the button, nothing happens. Uh. Boko. What's that? Was it? Oh, he's pushing buttons? No, uh... You just kind of stopped. Talking. I was wondering what I saw. That's what you see. It's just pitch blackness in the cockpit. Oh. Oh. Like, eh, nothing here. Oh, you realize I got a 6.1 and this negative 6.4 was Goboys. Right? Oh, techies. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Derp. Yeah. I thought I was confused. Okay. So you see that in the distance. Do you see it? Nope. Oh. Nope. It's just a field of black. God. Why is this token being weird? Is it on the wrong layer? Do you have vision walls up? There is no vision walls. There it is. Oh, there we go. Rabbit, for the Emperor! Looks like a squid. Looks like a massive <laughs> fish ship. It's a reaper. Oh no. Right. So you're gonna let everyone know what you see? Yep. Ship jet ahead off the bow. Right, and that is the that is the bow. What are you talking about? What the aft would be behind us? <laughs> I think Tess has its brain backwards. <laughs> His starboard also left for you. <laughs> All right, is it making any maneuvers? Is it just standing there? Is it? I don't How know. Big is it? What kind of ship is it? So, Moth, you're going to try to discern what it is? Sure. Okay. What kind of roll is that? Let me go look at the thing again. Right. A lore or something like that. Uh, off the bat, you know it's not an Imperial ship. Off the bat. Oh, so then it would be Xenos lore. Uh, well, that's all we needed to know, really, is that it's not a friendly ship. Right, off the yeah, 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 your character off the bat knows it's definitely not not an imperial vessel. Approximately how far away is it from us? Make sure I fix this. I think because I did the wrong yeah, I did the wrong give me one second. I f It's the whole ten feet away. Oh shit guys. Oh fuck. A face of maneuvers, we're about to ram it. No, I did the wrong map. That's more accurate. Still have the grid on two. Yep, mm -hmm. that's intentional. <laughs> You're not going to be doing any combat in here. 
grids and grids on purpose. So. Damn. All right. We could attempt to board it if we gain enough speed and use that ship. Oh, it's we're dead. Uh oh. What just happened? We've ceased to exist. We just yeah, got, uh, <laughs> plugged into the void of the in between. We have found the realm of the Elder Gods. Right. But we're in well, space. That already happened. We already hit an asteroid. And another one. <laughs> well, it depends on your perspective. Yeah, also true. We could have fallen into the asteroid. The asteroid could have fallen into us because our gravitational pull. Right. <laughs> So what are you guys uh, doing at this point? You guys are just observing the ship. Ooh, ah, ooh. Oh, they both disappeared for us. We're observing nothing at the moment. What? The ship they lost our ship. Yeah, both the tokens disappeared. Oh, okay. I mean, I st oh, there you go. Oh, my apologies. All right, so I guess I let everybody know we got a Xenos ship in front of us. Holy Eldar, eh? I presume I don't know that. I don't, I'm not trained in shitty aliens. Well, we haven't done a Z Z Zeno's We haven't floor? done a Xenos road yet. Well, aren't you trying to repair the ship yeah. with me? Please fix the ship. Somebody else can roll. Yelma, you want to try try your hand at it? What, a Xeno lore? Yeah. I guess Season I'm also looking at it. I'll try. I'm, I'm assuming your character's not just sitting there twiddling his thumbs. He's going to be trying to proactively get yourself out of this situation. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to have any modifier on this uh, Xeno check? Uh, uh, minus 20. Cool. They both fail. Yeah. Oh, we're not. Oh. So, damn. as you're looking at it, you you recall during past engagements with your with your librarian group that it's probably an Eldar uh, medium class ship. Um, you deduce that it's a pos. What's up? No, I felt that I accidentally put plus ten instead of minus ten. Oh, uh, okay. So, so that's a fail. Uh, it's 0. 0.6. So your character doesn't no, know anything about it. It should be minus 10, so it's a minus 0. 0.6. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I would have been rolling against uh, a 32, and I got a 36, so I failed by 0. 0.4. Okay. What Watch this? Eldar? <laughs> it was kind of obvious. You could be any any other Xeno. You you never you never know. Right, <laughs> the Necrons. But knowing the what we are where we just were and what we were just fighting, it's probably Eldar. No, it's right. definitely it's Eldar. definitely a Necron ship, and they're here for our bones. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just, your, your characters assume strongly assume it's uh, Eldar. You just don't know what kind of ship it is. Well, we're clearly, it's a small it. troop transport, just like this Thunderhawk, since we're of equivalent size. We're half their size. Yeah, but I mean, you put two Thunderhawks in on Den, so it's just. And most of that ship's going to be like solar cell, too, so. Uh, and Tyson, you got the you got a one point seven in your tech use. So what was that for? No, what were you doing? 
Oh, okay. So you try to repair the the radio still, right? Or some kind of Voxcom? Yeah. Minus minus sixty, yeah. That time. Yeah. What else are you gonna do? Can we keep looking at the ship, trying to discern what it is? <laughs> Yeah, I suggest stop watch worrying it. about their ship and find a find our ship, find the asteroid belt, head towards it. Our I thought we were leaving the asteroid belt. You were leaving. You were leaving the asteroid field that the uh, entity ship was at. Yes, they are. There is like a little field of rocks that was around, and then your guys' vessel was around a moon with an asteroid field around it, finding a battle in that around that. And they got defeated. I suggest got... whoever can pilots find us a hiding spot, not engage this. This ship is in no structural position to be engaged in a fight. Mm, but if they board us, couldn't we board them? Steal their ship? You guys on a fly Eldar? You guys on a fly Eldar vessels? I don't even think we know how to fly our own. We don't and even I... know it's, if it's an Eldar vessel. <laughs> Right. He can kill his right. compliments instead. So the tech marine forgets uh, that he shouldn't anger the uh, machine spirits and instead goes for the tact of trying to piss them off. Tech marine, have you tried disabling it and re enabling it? Right. Right. Minus it was well it's minus minus sixty. Right. Ajax is uh still in the still at the cockpit trying to get the ship operational. Um let's see how he does with Right, so he got... Who let this work in here? Kill it! Right, so... <laughs> he tells you kind of... He recognizes that type of vessel. Oh. Yes. And he tells you it is a... That's the oh. human spy. The human That's spy. Piloting the ship. Uh. No one. No one. All right. Try the secondary emergency backup and the tertiary. Well, that's good as long as they don't turn into us, then. What a strange classification for a ship. Elder scum ship. Scum. What else he's, would you classify Eldar ships as? He's caught. Yeah, he's... I would probably just classify it as a shadow hunter. Oh, he did. He, he said it was a shadow hunter. Yeah, he, yeah he's, Eldar scum. Eldar he's, scum he's, ship. He's There's not classifying the ship as scum. He's classifying the Eldar as scum. Eldar scum. There are three adjectives ship. right here, and they are modifying ship. Shadow only Hunter Eldar scum, is... all one. But then ship. He's he's basically cussing at the thing. He's like, yeah, that's a scummy Eldar ship. He's telling he's just Shadow Hunter. Uh, 
Okay, if you're going to see us, we will do nothing about it then. Yet. We continue drifting while trying to fix the comms. <laughs> we can't maneuver. How are we going to do that? Uh, so Thunder Hugs aren't really designed for boarding uh, smaller vessels. I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl so doesn't as you have, have a void suit. Well, aside from him, as long as we have, you know, our suits on and helmets on and there's no breaches in our armor, we can survive the vacuum of space perfectly I'm fine. I'm pretty sure one of us got their armor shredded by a, a slime creature. Uh, just damaged. It's uh, also patched and up with, with, uh, and with ceramite. But, but is it taste. void ready patched up? Uh, I think so. Might want to double check that. I'll double check that. <laughs> well, uh, if we were I to just that? jump at them with the uh, two kilometer distance between them and us, we'd probably just be jumping to our deaths. Yeah. Yeah. So. I wouldn't recommend just jumping out into space. Uh, it would be your last jump. But his armor is cheesed up from that explosion he took. So it's up to you if you want to check his armor, make sure he's ready to go. We're, we're not leaving the boat. Never get off the boat. <laughs> we can make a fake distress signal and lure them in and board them. What? The they would probably just shoot exactly or i yeah. would shoot us if i were them or we can wait till they leave and then make a real distress signal might be better yeah and hopefully the quizzer didn't leave just yet or instead of the distress signal repair our comms and establishing actual channel with our inquisitors ship also that instead of you know broadcasting on all possible frequencies with the stress signal the stress signal yeah. is more of an idea in case we can't get the comments back online which seems to be more and more the case as time goes by yes so what do we do if we don't have the comms back online do we just continue drifting or do we attempt to board oh Looks uh -huh. like we're running on backup life support for the one guy that doesn't have a built-in life support. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're good on that. All right. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, Adrix. <laughs> he's got an entire ship functioning for just him at the moment. I think he's good. Right. Right, but maybe we could divert the power from life supports into the comm systems. Oh. <laughs> then we uh, won't have a pilot. That's the, our only pilot. Well, a pilot for the well, ship. We don't need move. a pilot anymore. All we need is for something to start working. So, uh, yeah. Make him sus and, and eject him in the little airlock. <clears throat> we can also pretend we have a high value target that the other might be interested in. There nice. we go. So. Right. Congratulations, you fixed the toaster. No, no, no. Oh, God. Damn it. So, Why didn't let, you fix the coffee machine? <laughs> right. Um, let me see what you're able to get here. Second. So you're able to get. You're you're not able to get. Get your uh, um, comms working on the ship. You're, you are you are able to get life support working, functioning again. Uh, you're able to get uh, additional battery backup working, and a distress distress signal beacon on the ship is also working. Oh no! Disable that quickly. Yeah, it's not enabled, but it it was not okay. operable before. But it is now functional. Cool. So we have a distress beacon.
The question I'm now assuming. is, should we use it now, or should we wait until the other ship moves away? I Before say we, we wait until the other it, ship leaves. And what while is we're the waiting. status of our weapons on the Thunderhawk? Well, if we barely have backup batteries, I doubt we have workable weapons, aside from also, what we're holding. Also, you remember... Yeah, also, in the previous battle, if you recall, you heard a loud explosion. And when you guys were looking at that craft, the guns were destroyed on the front guns. So but not the top tower? guns. So that means we have our biggest weapons still available. Possibly. Because the front guns on a Thunderbolt should just be mostly bolters and maybe a couple of last cannons. But the big boy yeah. that sits on top of the Thunderhawk should still be operational. Right, so I have a bad that? idea. Wait, are our comms working? or We can receive, we... but we can't send. Right. We can. It's just a really bad idea to. We could pulse the distress beacon real quick and hope the Eldar don't see it. They will see it. If we do one pulse, uh, we'll be fine. They'll know something's there, but they cannot triangulate the position. Right, but if we were able to look out the window and see them. Also, for whatever reason, they seem to be circling us precisely, which is strange and weird. Yes. You don't know that. They could just be turning. We could have gotten lucky, and they could have just not gone through the debris field we're in. We could just look like a junk piece of metal floating in space. Well, we are stitched up as well, yeah. We didn't have that much time to stitch it up. I'm just yeah. saying, if that ship's on solar sails, it's not going to want to go through crap in space, is it? So it's going to maneuver around it. Neil Tyson, keep trying to work on the communications. And spend yeah. as much space as possible. Right. Are, are any of you guys keeping an eye out? Yeah, any, any guys looking outside the window still? Yep. I'm going to move to the airlock or like airlock equivalent and just prepare for any potential boarding activities. Okay. We have... Do we have a maneuvering thrusters online? Damn it. That stupid size thing. You can use one of my fate points. I'm doing my part. Do we still have those? Uh... Did all your guys make it on board? Of course they did. The Man, is this is going to be some close quarters maneuvering for us inside, isn't it? Then? How big are Thunderhawks on the inside? Uh, they can carry one or two rhinos. So they, they have enough uh, room for like are... three or four squads of space marines. Ah. What the heck is that? That big vessel just made itself smaller, and now there's multiple of those smaller vessels. Oh, God, they're replicating. <laughs> I'm assuming small fighter craft. Another or one just got craft. slightly larger again. So you see three in the no, distance. That just, it got closer. Is that how perspective works? Yes. Things just reshape themselves, but in the same plane. <sighs> they never told us how to that in the Space Marine Academy. <laughs> In librarian school, we just learned how to blow shit up with our minds. Oh. <laughs> so, dude, what are you doing at this point? You just have still helping Tesseract trying to online the vessel? I do. Right. Any, 
So any of you guys checking any of the weapon systems too? Like, uh, what was it, Yellow suggested? Huh? Okay. Right. So, tech, tech use? Minus 30? Your your virtual dice are cursed. Right. You need new ones. So as you use one of my fate points to re-roll both those previous rolls, or for two of my yeah, fate points to re-roll use, both of those previous rolls. Go for it. The first one was for a comms check. The second one was the weapons. Yep. No, worse. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody take his rolling privileges away, please. And the second one for the weapons is just a straight roll. You should get this right. one. Oh, my God. Oh, my right, God. Right, right. Let me, let, well, the weapons so, are gone. Uh, as, Did he just uh, detach them? Are you going to fate roll that one? Or are you going to let me role play, role play off that one? It's up to you. Oh God! Well, okay. uh, no, we'll we're not. Character. No, we're revoking your speech from that. Well, no, I <laughs> let's, mean that's let's what he's roll again. It's what he's doing. Are you, are you gonna commit to it or not commit to it? That one hundred. Cope where it's a weapon. If it's a hundred, it's probably gonna blow up. Cobbler, we're in space drifting. <laughs> if the weapon explodes, we're dead. New character time. <laughs> are you are you committing There's Tesseract? No story there. Are you yeah. committing Tesseract? Yes or no? One heck of a way to reset the story, though. Go back to square one for our original characters. We all just had a fever dream. Well, boys, we did it. The mission is complete. Oh man, I was dreaming. I was a medic. Why? Um, I'm the heavy space marine with the missile launcher. I'm the heavy yeah. weapon, this guy. <laughs> All right. I need a decision. Mm-hmm. We've got plenty of other fit points. You don't have to use yours for it. That, and we've got like at least 10 from all the librarians sitting in this play. You got six librarians, yeah. Oh, that's 18 then. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're, able, you're able to discern that most majority of the weapons are offline. Uh, the top gun, the turret is, it, it can somewhat traverse, but it is extremely damaged. Uh, as far as firing solution, probably have one one shot with this thing. It's all I can probably handle. That's why that's why you're able to discern from all your inspecting the weapon systems. Well, one thing. Well, I think some of us have mag boost, don't we? We all have mag boots. I checked. It's it's like a standard, like part of the gotcha. thing. We well, have. we can be on uh, outside of the hole and just shoot them out right. We could with what weapon? With with our our rifle for one. Like we. Do what? What are we trying to do? Cannon's already ready to go. You 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 discern uh by Yeah, you're able to get well that little freaking So we never got told what these were, by the way. 
Oh, you tried? Well, no one tried to identify them either. Right. Well, you know they're very small craft, is what you saw. I know. I I made the roll, and then they appeared, oh. and nothing was said about them. You that's you yeah. You saw them. You saw a small craft in the distance. All right. Can I try to identify them? Sure. What kind of roll is this then? Forbidden lore, Zeno's. Yeah, Zeno, forbidden lore, possibly. Oh well, then I, I have no, uh, yeah, I have no lore training. Let's see. And what was your observation? Five point two, Brasora. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the distance they were and how small they are, you're not able to discern if Imperial, if the Eldar vessels, you are uncertain of what they are. But Dang. you do see that one breaks off from the, the small group. And, uh, Tyson, what were you doing? It's yeah, ready. yeah. It's ready to go. And it has... You're you're able to discern that the turret. You're not going to be able to hit anything fast moving, and you have one shot, one opportunity. At at best, one shot at best, and even then, uh, your character is pretty leery of that. It could cause a catastrophic failure. So. All right. Uh, so does anybody... Uh, I, I point out the little fighter crafts and ask if anybody knows what those are. I'll go look at it. And Yelmuk, what are you having your kill team do the whole time? I have no idea what that is. I don't know, man. We're librarians. We don't have tech use. We don't have uh, anything that's far-reaching. Oh, don't you have that that telepathy psychic stuff? You could totally do that. <laughs> I use my comms to a uh, conversor. Yes, you mean this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why aren't you just doing that to the other? Why guy? don't you just do that? Come it's on, a man, very limited range. It doesn't work, you know, over the vastness of space and time. I'm not a. I'm not an astropath. So you suck. <laughs> I use uh, Jaws of the Shark inside the vessel, targeting everyone, <laughs> and I push the limits. <laughs> <laughs> have Actually you seen question. his work? Uh, we just saw it five a, minutes ago. You do have a conglomerate of psychers with you. Does any one of them have any telepathic ability? Again, it is not over kilometers of space. I don't know. I think it actually uh, is talking. Uh, like, have you tried going through the warp to talk to people then? Uh, where was it? How the short range, I mean, like and sending a calm signal through the warp to uh, somewhere else. If they had long range telepathy, then sure, it is 50 kilometers per rating that it's done at. Let's do that with the Inquisitor, but that's a very like specific power. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, you know, I'm not going to dictate what, you know, all 10 of my uh, librarians had. I thought you only had six left. No, two of them, uh, one couldn't cast, uh, I should have more than six, I should have like seven. One just can't cast. There were, there were eight, one died, and one couldn't cast for like No, two died, and hours. one couldn't cast. Right. You're down to five usable Marines. Yeah. Plus your guy. How, far, how close are we to the moon? Well, he was in orbit of it. You guys were out out of pretty good distance. It would be it would take you even if the ship was operational, it would take you uh at least a week to get there. Just flying on a normal Oof. thruster. Yeah. Like, 
between like the distance between here and our moon basically is how far away you are or more double the distance of that so well i feel i have a feeling we're gonna need to capture that eldar ship yep okay tech marine can you fix the ship if you go outside His head is, Literally his brain is no backwards. Yeah. Well, if he's working backwards, we need to word it differently as well. Then. I'm also trained in tag, maybe, but I'm not very uh, intelligent compared to Ty, uh, Neil Tyson. There is another option. We could just activate the distress beacon and see if the Elder ship will take us instead of killing us. Oh, it looks like the big other ships have been multiplying. I suggest dude comes along since he has a ranged weapon and he can actually shoot down stuff if need be. As in Voihor rifle. Well, I, I doubt that will actually help that much. Oh my god. I think we've been spotted. Uh uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, they, they went to work. Out. If they see something crawling around the ship, that might attract their attention. I think we've already attracted their attention. Well, we didn't do anything. We nope, are literally drifting. surrounded. We're just drifting. We're just space junk. I don't think they think we're space junk. God damn it. Yeah, considering that first ship has been circling us the entire time, and then those uh, small craft came directly at us. KO team, if you're still alive, we're abandoning ship. Another elder fleet has arrived. We're making our way to the moon below. We've established contact with the colony. Great, isn't it? Uh-huh. I feel like so the new objective is called survive. Basically. And, like, why only... Oh. They are attack. Oh, they are approaching. You know, Tyson, get back inside. Uh, if they. Um... Right. So. <laughs> yeah. Everyone do awareness check. <laughs> they're, they're already on board. No. Any modifiers? Uh, plus 40. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you guys... Yeah, you guys are seeing, uh, uh, basically what you think are spotlights from these vessels as they circle the craft. Just, just... Anybody just want to hop out and wave? <laughs> the old oh, Tyson get back inside. Yeah. Uh, BRB. Okay, quick maths here. We have one maybe shot. There are four big ships. Hmm. Oh, bigger than you ships. They're they're not like cruiser class vessels. They're like uh They look like patrol boats to me. Yeah. So they're bigger they're bigger than you, but they're not capital like super capital ships or anything like that. Like a Thunderhawk, a fully repaired, fully equipped Thunderhawk might be able to go mano a mano with one of them. Have a hell of a time against two of them. The Federation's arrived.
It's not like they're drone operated. If we shoot one, they'll probably just blow us up. The only thing we can do is wait. Right. So also in the distance, you start seeing many explosions in the distance behind this ship here. Like there's a giant space battle going on. Ooh. We're saved by the Oryx. <laughs> Can we see the other ships? Uh, uh, yes, you guys see them in the distance. Can we try and identify them? Sure. Using what, Xenos? Well, I got a 4.5 for Xeno lore. Uh, you know they're not Xenocraft. So they're Imperial? Yeah, they're not Xenocraft, so you assume they're Imperial fighters of some sort. Well, I mean, they could be Chaos Marines. Well, we can use Imperium, Any, uh, uh, Common Imperium, to double check. Yep. Or Imperium War or something like that. Although I doubt War would work that way. Nope. They're Chaos Marines, brothers. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what those are. They look horribly Xenos. So Neil Tyson, as you I mean, as you've worked in the as a tank commander before, you recognize that they're just space superiority. Just you don't know, he's worked in the he's worked in the military enough and he's also in the tech world. So yeah, he, just him though. No one else has been in the military. Yep. I, as a None tech of us are military. How as a tech you suggest it. Right, so you recognize that that is a Imperial fighter for sure. Uh, it is uh, uh, aerospace superiority fighters. So they're trying to shut down anything in the air they can as possible. But you know, looking at that, that's probably all the craft that a cruiser had. So, right. Uh, so they're from what you see and how they're how they're functioning. They're they're designed specifically to just take on other other small fighter craft to deny uh, airspace. They stand, they they stand no chance against these Eldar uh, patrol craft, though. Okay, so what are you guys doing in the meantime? Twiddling my thumbs. Waiting. Mm. Whoa. Well, as let's let, let's wait for one uh, one of them leaves. The last one or not? Never mind. So they, they zip away. As soon as that battle starts, they zip away from uh, you guys. You, as fast as they came, they zip away. I guess we could keep trying to repair the Thunderhawk from the outside. Let's do that. All right. Uh, minus 60. Nailed it. Yay. He, he finally made a good roll. All right. right. 
Yeah, and as you're doing that, uh, you guys see the patrol craft in front of you just explode. Just just explode violently. Ooh, pretty Eldar corpses. You, you, see, you see giant explosions that impacted it before beforehand. They rammed it. So, what were you trying? What were you? What was your focus on? What were you trying to repair specifically? Focus on the engines. Say again. <laughs> this, this is not a warp capable craft, right? It's not like they have a. Right, so you looked at both engines. They are completely toast. Uh, you are able to somewhat get the maneuvering thrusters that that uh, the space one's working. So you're able to get some thrust. Right. Oh no. One of the, one of the smaller ones. Right. No. So. If if it's if it's discharging, we're fucked. All right. Up so what you're saying engines. is, is we can maneuver to point our gun at one thing, and then that's going to be about it. Maybe we should try and shore up the gun so we don't blow up firing it, or be able to fire more than once. Or that. I'm back with Dennis. Uh oh. Did we destroy a ship? What happened? Well, the we big one in front of us is three. gone, so it's just three left. Okay. Did the other three just fuck off, or did they... Well, they're still there. Oh, okay. We have, they haven't moved at all, so they're kind of holding holding that line there. So they're just holding that line. This is their pocket of void space, and they will die on it. And did you make another roll for something? So what are you guys doing at this point? What's the plan? That's a good question. <laughs> plan? Yep, but we want to make the gun able to actually hit a target. Or be able to fire more than once. You know, like, <laughs> trying to prepare the gun a little bit. Sorry that nobody else is trying to tech use, Gilbert, but uh, roll more. Uh, if I tried, uh, I would fail with because uh, I'd be rolling against a 22 or a 21. We should probably not let our tech marine walk in alone. He probably needs some cover in case something bad goes on. Oh, what the hell? Splash too, I guess. Shit. We Wait, so we no didn't... chance. Bullshit. So we didn't blow up the first <laughs> ship. It was someone else. Oh, yeah. Somebody else. The Those uh, Imperial fighters blew up the first and apparently second ship. Oh, okay. 
Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's it's Boko rolling for spacecraft. All the rolls are going to be awful. Yeah. <laughs> Except this time they're not. 13, 56, and 8. And you guys see every every time these things, you, the firecraft get near, you guys see uh, imp giant impact explosions, and then the ship blows up. Minus sixty. And you're trying to repair the gun as best as possible. Your character assesses it's still extremely dangerous to fire this thing, but you're able to get the gun working. So you're able to make sure your shot is going to be accurate. It's uh, still very spooky. Oh, wait, so we did shit at something. No. Oh. You, you know, we do have local comms online, right? You just don't have to get back inside. To talk. <laughs> well, yes, we have the communicators that are in our helmets. Yes. Yeah. What? The, they'll travel a few kilometers, so we could theoretically talk to the guys in the, on the fighters. It is just a let's kilometer. attempt communication with the fighters. All right. You're assuming they're going to survive. They're nearby. That's our best shot. True. I, our our best shot would be to fire the gun and kill one of these other Eldar ships to give them a better chance. But are you guys switching to regular military comms to talk to them instead of the kill team channel? Sure. But we would try to also make it private or something. Yeah. Comms. This is Alpha Strike Team Leader. Glad to hear you guys survived. Praise the Emperor. We survived, but we're dead on the waters. We managed to get some maneuvering thrusters up and running, and our main gun semi online. We can make few shots, but they're but we might go down. <clears throat> Do you have any uh, rescue crafts with your uh, fleet? He's talking right now. You guys hear reply. We're on the run to take on this patrol. We're the last of what was our squadron. We'll do our best to take as many of these elders come with us. So the answer is no. I mean, if they can take up the ship to our... Uh... Port, we can take out the ship to our starboard with our gun. So you're, at, you're, you're having them redirect over to here? 
That would be our starboard. Yeah. Right. That's all you hear over the comms as soon as you uh, tell them to do that. For the Emperor. <laughs> And let's just try to shoot at the ship on the left. I think we should put our best shot on the gun. Which is probably me. I have 72 on ballistic skills. <laughs> yes. Fifty six here. Thirty nine. I'm the best one then. Yep. Uh I can spot that's about it, I guess. See if we're aimed correctly. Well, I'm at 66. Uh-oh. I am a master of observation now. Okay. So ballistics E plus plus twenty. Don't and don't forget the possibility shield bonus. So should we hard. just use the ballistic skill to aim? Yeah. Are you aiming anything in particular? I say we go for their engines or reactor. Reactor. Probably not. All right. The oh, wall was. Oh, my God. So. That's... Oh, oh my oh, god. god. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. You just see a that giant one. You just see it it penetrate and explode that craft. Like it like its armor wasn't even there. Beautiful. And the other right. one's disabled. Now we all we gotta do is fight off the fighters. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing we Neil Tyson, Boy check Boy, right? the weapon. Neil Tyson, let's check the weapon to see if it's operational for another shot. We're gonna need to do this so that we can make sure that we're safe while we're doing this. For what? He said it's still. He said it was still dodgy. Yeah, it's yeah. still he said dodgy. It's still dodgy. So I want to make sure that it is ready for a second shot, second shot, in a safe uh, manner. It's probably uh, mechanics well, wise, like right. Don't get above an eighty. Yeah, as you as you guys were firing, that your entire ship was uh, rocking. Things were felt like it was falling apart above you as you're firing as you fired that gun. Sir, structural integrity is compromised. It's being compromised. What are you talking about? <laughs> this thing has it's Swiss it's Swiss cheese on the outside. All the armor pretty much gone. Uh missing a wing due to the explosion. Asteroid impact on the engine. No web no frontal weapons to speak of other than that big gun. So 
So you guys gonna try to swing it around, or what are you guys doing? Take out the other ship, just to be sure. You gonna do what? Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> we just need to. Uh, minus minus sixty. So is the gun gone ready to shoot again? So you guys just see a hail of missiles. Uh, come your way. Oh no. Oh no. The missiles have caught words. communications. Right. Right. And your ship is taking on a massive amount of damage. At this point. Every single one hit, yeah. Oof. Let's see, 4.1 and a, the 4... Oh. Real quick, how fast were they going? The missiles? Like, was there enough time for us to hop out and try shooting them down with our bolters? Or with the, the main missiles? cannon? No, they're going extremely fast. All right. They're going like, you're not going to intercept that. So, All right. Um, well, um, we should uh, retaliate and shoot the elder ship on the starboard side. So, on let's the see. Your ship is on fire. Oof. There is there is no hole to speak of. It blew a big hole in the side with the first shot. Fire started. The second shot uh, impacted just right of the turret and locking the uh, turret from traversing anymore, like turning. And the last, the last shot killed Adrix. Aw. He, well, he can still with, shoot. with the fire and the depressurization, he was probably dead anyway. Well, he was in the cockpit, so but it, it impacted the cockpit and destroyed him. All right. Well, can we still maneuver? And then with with what? Well, the, the, the pilot's dead. The, the pilot's dead and the cockpit's destroyed. But yes, you're able to turn around as this was happening. All right. So I'll make a shot when I think I it's, it's, I'm ready to make a shot. <clears throat> Yeah, because I believe the gun, the gun crew is up on on the top second level, and because right. they're all. <laughs> uh, they just say he was making a turn well when he got shot. So it was this you guys just spinning. We're spinning right yep. now, so we can so actually. We, we have a chance to shoot a couple of times. Right. I, guess, your, I mean, your ship is like literally right. At you guys, as you guys come this way to turn around to fire at him, because you shot shot him, killed them. This responded to you. Because as you turn around, that's when you got impacted by three missiles. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Yel, yeah, Yelmug, are you ordering your guys to do anything in particular at this point? Uh, again, uh, my skill set uh, is rather limited inside the void of space. What do you mean you so, can't <laughs> psychically suppress fire? Right. right. Or just right. useless. I mean, if there's any internal fires, throw your bodies on them, librarians. Wait, don't <laughs> those drop sharks roll, come with like a fires pool? Out. Of, don't those sharks you summon come with a pool of blood? Just use that. No, the blood comes after it devours somebody. Have them devour each other. <laughs> oh my god. Fire with fire. I'll have more them more devour fire. you and then we'll have a pool of blood. Well we, we have we have a pilot. Yeah, we have a dead pilot, you <laughs> said. <laughs> and a destroyed cockpit. It's completely gone, so Yeah, so I can't even get to the pilot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh it's gonna be minus sixty. You're under 
extreme duress at this point. And there's a lot going on. So you are not able yeah. to contain any of the fire because it consumed the cockpit. It's consumed. Uh, it's starting to consume where Yell Mug's guys would be, which I assume would be in the whole world where all the tanks would be. Uh, so you, you, you know very quickly this is a sinking ship. And also... Um, Wait, did uh, you say there's a tank on board? No, 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 where no. Where the tank would be. Oh, okay. Tank would be. Where okay. the tank would be. You guys are in the hold. So, and while this is going on, uh, you feel the craft lurch forward and start to drift and spin. And we should. Any modifiers? Minus it 60. Minus 60. Oof. Plus 10 for possibility shield, and then we got 18 fake points. <laughs> uh oh. All right, spend one of them. We got 17 fake points left. Uh, 16. 16 left. Okay. Yep. Keep uh -oh. going. 15 left. Hey. hey. You are, let's see, was that a point six? Mm-hmm. Okay, you are able to... It, it, it impacts the craft. And let's see. I think our best bet right now would be to jump ship because the next volley is going to kill us. Oh, I agree. Most likely. As soon, as, as, soon as, we fire, as soon as we uh, make a fire and we saw it heads, we're like... We're getting out of here. Everyone get out of the ship. There's nothing right. else we can do. <laughs> right. You, got, you see that other craft is basically, what would you assume in fire is smoking real bad after that shot. I do not believe so. And Hawks wouldn't know. Yeah. So it you're, escape pod. you are literally going to be Running out into space. I would assume your suits have limited thrusters in space. They don't have any thrusters. I mean, two of us have jetpacks. But that's, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So you... It's time to form Voltron. Daisy chain, everybody. <laughs> yeah, basically. So just you, huh? <laughs> yeah. so just just going to leave the rest of us here to die. Cool. Have fun. <laughs> but, you know, I think we should, uh, me and Bristora should be in the spear of this formation and then the rest can, like, <laughs> hold hands with us or something. I don't know. We're going to go Peter Pan with this. Everybody think just, happy thoughts. Just daisy chain. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I I would suggest we do it slightly differently. It's going to be awkward. Okay, so the two jetpack people have to be together. So we multiply the force of our jetpack so we can actually pull somebody. Mm -hmm. well, in space, and then everybody holds easy. off of our legs from there. Oh. Mm -hmm. All of my librarians are getting together, hugging each other. And we're going to jump off as one solid unit of mass. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> Librarians assemble. <laughs> and the destination, just go to the elder ship that we just hit, but not yep. destroyed. It's literally the last thing we can do. Right. What there's... the fuck is that? <laughs> if you guys want to play Space Engineers, why is like there a Tau ship here? Oh. Is that a Tau? It shouldn't be. Sorry, no, it's just the icon on, the, on it. Oh. And the vague shape of it just kind of makes it look a little bit like a tile ship. <laughs> so I'm assuming you guys ran like the hell and got off that Thunderhawk, mm -hmm. right? Into space? Mm -hmm. Well, we can't run, so we jump. You... 
So, right. Well, the librarians have formed a, a massive. I'd, I'd imagine the librarians form a ring, and then the other space marines like hook their legs into those guys' arms, and then they hook themselves into our legs. So it's like a a ring with two cables of people holding onto our legs, pulling them we're, that way. We're just doing skydiving formations. It's fine. Yeah, That's fine. Like that. Yeah. Okay. I, so you I, guys... I think the I think the Menango should be held. By someone so that his his arms are free to operate his weapons if need be. So we have a semi moving weapons plan, <laughs> technically. Oh. Uh oh. Well, they're dead. No, I mean, as you guys or are jumping off. could be a tractor beam. No, as you guys are jumping off, you guys just see a giant blue beam go and just evaporate your ship. Can take that ship. Glad we jumped the ship. Yeah, we'll totally catch up with them. It's only six miles. No big deal. Oh, Any good. day now. <laughs> so you guys. Yep. And as you guys are doing that, you see this ship turn away. It had one mission and one mission only. <laughs> oh, that Thunderhawk in particular, how dare it. Yeah. It is a much bigger vessel. Much, much bigger. <laughs> That's correct. No. Mm. Depends on if the... Uh... That's what you assume. The fighters, you, it depends on if the fighters got a message back or not. Yeah. Well, let's just go to the nearest uh, Eldar ship. Yep, let's go capture this disabled Eldar ship that we fucked up. Actually, I have a better things. idea. I have a what? slightly better idea. Since they think, we think that they think we died, let's just uh, I'll be a stowaway in the ship. I don't want to go to the Eldar planets. Well, or at least... At least let them repair the ship. Yeah, we can be a stowaway until their ship is better repaired. Fair. Why did a giant butthole appear? A giant donut. <laughs> That's you guys. <laughs> Um, well, also a point to be had: we cannot operate their ship, even if we wanted to. We're not pilots. We're not pilots, but we can at least try. Yeah, but their pilots will just break their legs until they work it. Right, or we can ride the ship and maybe set up like some emergency com thing on their ship while we're hiding. Like the hiding option is a valid one. Yes. How many of this are there again? So there's seven. six librarians plus plus the other guy, so seven, plus Tesseract, plus Dude, plus Dan, and myself. plus me. So 11 people. I count 10. Right. Uh, yep, yep, no, yeah, so Severians and me, yep, so seven, plus you guys. Which is four. So eleven. Mm-hmm. So we're just drifting. Any, anywhere in particular? In the distance, you see that other other Eldar ship just Oh, yeah, there. we're headed oh. towards the Eldar ship, there's nothing else. We're headed range. towards the hole in the ship. There is a giant hole yeah. where you impacted it, and it is, the ship is still, as you guys can see, smoldering and debris field. I'm gonna try to burn all of my fuel and get there as fast as possible. Right. You guys Mine's arrive. Nuclear fuel, so. Yeah. So as you guys arrive, you see where the hole impacted it. You see Eldar 
dead crew all in the vacuum of space. I just imagine Neil Tyson actually singing that <laughs> as we were approaching. <laughs> I will be right back. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I suggest uh, people aim their guns as we approach the the hole. The hole? Like we're still yeah. approaching it. You're still approaching, and as you guys are approaching, you see a very silent craft. It's not reacting to anything you guys are doing. Wait, you can you can shoot. Hold on. If every one of you picks up your bolters and then shoots in the opposite direction, we increase our speed. <laughs> yeah, theoretically. You have ammo. Of course they can. We'll get there in time. We shouldn't use our bolt guns to rapidly accelerate ourselves uh, into another ship. We ram the ship. <laughs> All right. I'm back. Yeah, one second. Oh, do we blast our way in? I mean, there's a giant hole. They, they, you guys can literally just fly into it. This looks, to as far as you guys are concerned, it looks like a dead craft. All right. All right, I lock and uh, I presume the gravity is zero G here. Uh, as you board, you realize, yeah, it, it looks like it's extremely unpowered. I'll activate my mag boots. Same. Uh, mag boots, they, where was it? They had a special rule set. Right. And in that direction, you see where all the red's at. You see that's an obvious fire. They reduce the agility bonus by half, but otherwise allow normal movement and lower zero gravity. Now you just see the fire kind of bellowing out of that corridor there. Nah, let's just move straight through the inferno. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. No, uh, to a degree, depends but on not... the fire. Yeah, that's a plasma right. fire. Our armor's not going to do shit. I started working downwards. Just like clunk, clunk, clunk. Oh yeah, would there there would have been time when we were just screwing around in the ship to medical check everybody, right? Say again. There would have I been time so. when we were screwing around when we were in the drop ship, the Thunderhawk, to metal medical check everybody with the medic, right? I think we did. Right. Yeah, you did. I think I think it's an old token, so go ahead. You can erase all that stuff on the There need you know tights on. All right, so pretty much all your wounds except for anything critical should be fixed. All right.
what, 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 what? Smoke, I'd imagine. Yep. Okay, smoke. Whatever. They're just like black smoke for me. There's fire. Yeah. Everybody starts screeching like bats. I just scream really loudly. (laughs) All right. I go through the smoke. I see no flames. Thank God. I'll go, I'll go to the right. Well, first of all, let's see if there's any survivors and if it's operational. I was examining this room, seems like a reactor room. Uh, What's that supposed to be, Boko? It's crazy how precisely imperial this entire ship looks from the inside, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's a very alien vessel. I don't have alien ship tiles, unfortunately. Sorry, I, I paid for this, yeah. and that's all I got. That's good. Uh, what's this uh, circle supposed to be, Boko? Or is it just circle? Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing of importance. Oh, okay, okay. That's just the source of the fires. All right. God damn it. Uh, right. Uh, <clears throat> as you come aboard, you can see this is a bridge type area. It looks very alien to you. Mm-hmm. Man, There's who builds a bridge on a ship? You could have just used an elevator or something else. <laughs> right. <Why> a bridge. <laughs> it's the, not even the elves are fancy pansy. That's like they just build bridges all the time. Don't you know that? Yeah, and just, across uh, the bridge. It's not very funny of a joke, but it's there. I just contemplate taking the gun to my face. <laughs> this one's no, already burned. Burn the bridge. That's how we control the ship. All right, so there's nothing in the left. And it's already on fire. On the right, well, if there's, there's nobody here on the bridge, I think we're pretty good to steal it. We should probably put out the fires, though. Is Although one any... would wonder how the fires are burning if it's exposed to space. There, there are different different types of fire. Uh, I'll attempt to put it put it out from the ground. You just see it's definitely yeah <laughs> starting to consume the ship, like like a source. Is uh, uh, fueling this fire. Yeah. I will attempt to fight the fire. Use tech use minus minus uh, fifty, and then yeah, minus fifty. Can I attempt to use fire? So, even though the craft is very alien to you, you, you your point be push one, as seems to be fire suppression, and you start to see the fire subside. Oh, I was gonna fight fire with fire and use my flamer. God damn it! You don't know what you push, but you, but you push something, and you hear a uh, very alien sound, and. You, you just see Monsieur just start doing his work everywhere. Say again? It seems like it's some sort of there's some sort of holy fire spreader now. Uh, 
unholy uh, fire suppression. Gummy destroyer. fire suppression, right? Gummy fire suppression. Mm-hmm. You know, you know enough that it's a fire go away. I'm gonna go explore the top. And I shall accompany you. What? Mm-hmm. Oof. Ooh. Nice. Oh well. <laughs> I knew I. Oh no, YouTube didn't get to hear your dad jokes. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking. Oh god. I wish I caught that sooner. If you're, uh. If you're watching the VOD. Yeah, I've been talking to nothing this whole time, except for the rest of the... My fucking mic wasn't being picked up or recorded. Oh, well. Does that record audio? Uh, no. I mean, now it is, because I switched the device to be the correct one, and it's on now, but, uh... Was yeah, you... recording our audio? But you just weren't replying the entire time? <laughs> Yeah, I was recording yours, everything else. Um, so you just okay. speaking to so, the So the biggest, I will say right now, if you're watching the VOD, the biggest thing that you missed was me singing Space Asshole when we were exiting the Thunderhawk. And then I even made up uh, my own lyric, Space Asshole, flying uh, in a ring oh towards God, a so ship. All in all, you missed nothing. Yeah, you missed nothing. I'm a terrible That's singer, but I also don't care. So, ha! Okay, anyway. So you approach, you see a giant, like, that gray, whitish mass you see. It's just a giant force shield, and behind it you see what looks to be some sort of fire that you saw before, behind it. Cool. Ah. Uh, all right. But there is a corridor down there, and it's leading somewhere. But we're at the bridge, right? Yes. Okay. Well, Karnoff and I are exploring. And then now also Dominego. Right. Uh, you see no crew, no visible crew of any kind. This just leads back around. This is, yeah, this is completely empty. We're safe. I could start hitting buttons at random to try and find the one to point us to go somewhere. I'm going to go back to the force field. I'm just going to watch it closely in case something happens. Or our technical marine could try to find the button to make us go to the moon. Yeah, I'll do that. Is it tech use role, or would it be like Forbidden right, Adeptus just... Mechanicus lore, or what? I would do that. The Forbidden forbidden lore. All and right. it'd be a minus, minus 50 on that one. Oh boy. All right. I also I'm trying to figure out how, how to get the thing. Uh, dude, do you have, do you even have Forbidden Adeptus Mechanicus under your lore? This is not really Adeptus Mechanicus ship, so this wouldn't really help. I think tech use would be more appropriate. Oh, awesome. You, you do that one, you can do that one too. But, uh, uh the, the Adeptus Mechanicus would know of the Eldar, so they would study that stuff. So, it is possible his character would know of something. Ooh. So I'm able to glean something. Oh wow, I rolled a seven. That's pretty good. Right, so you're and I am close enough for possibility shield for your rolls. Yeah, so yeah, your character I did that already. Factory. Is able to through, through uh technology on, on Mars and you can now remember, hey, this is the Eldarite, so you, you identified the helm. Okay. What what ship turn and move and all that stuff. Brothers, I've identified the helm. Press the buttons to go to the moon. All right, I'm going to do a tech use to see which button will take us where. What's the, uh, I got a good roll on, uh, the Mechanicus, so... You're... What's the modifier? You're pushing the ship to go move? Yeah. It's a modifier on the roll for that. Nothing, you just do it. So, oh, okay. as you're moving this cool. disabled 
multiple craft. So all you guys feel that ship lurch forward. And a moment later, you guys feel it reverberate throughout the ship, but you're still moving as trajectory it feels like. Uh, that's you keep getting caught up, so it's hard to understand what you're saying. I'm pretty sure he said an explosion happened when we started to move. Oh, oh, the air to here must be. I thought you said you had good internet now. Cause I have a, it's like Discord is not wanting to work properly. Maybe your mic's not plugged in right. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I think it could also be my Wi-Fi on the PC. At this point, it's the Wi-Fi. Oh, we you're have... using Wi-Fi? Yeah, that's the reason. Gross. You. <laughs> Plug it in, man. Be a real man. Be a real man. I would... Route my cord from this office to the other side of the house. And I don't think they make much. Uh, anyways, uh, so. Okay, so I'll, I'll repeat what I said again. I'll feel the ship lurch forward oh. and kind of move. Uh, moments later, you guys all uh, feel a very powerful the ship itself, but the ship is still moving. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Right. Well, I mean, you. Who the hell is Alexander? You feel the acceleration. I mean, say and, our uh, King's Quest reference, old shitty adventure game. From right. like and the as early two thousands. As you're doing that, the uh, uh, the lights in the in the bridge are blaring uh, warning guys. You can tell the warning sounds because they're just kind of piercing. And uh, why is Eldar music uh, such crap? Yeah, music crap on this Eldar vessel. So it's uh, trying to move the I'm ship. Still itself. trying, still not exactly sure what's going on. It's a uh, techno oh, alarm music from, that's about to blow up to another ship that's about to blow up onto now this ship that's about to blow up. <laughs> I'm starting to recognize a pattern here. Well, if the Emperor wanted us to die in space, we would have already done it. So... Yes. It is better we to keep die on towards the Emperor the moon. than to live to become the a The worst heretic. that can happen is we lose engines on the way, and then we're just drifting towards it. We'll eventually Ooh. hit the moon. Yeah, true. There, that way you can understand, dude. So you that's the, all you guys feel, the sensation of the ship moving. We could go around the ship and like just hit that fire suppression it. button again. Maybe it'll do something. I hit the fire yeah. suppression button again. Well that might undo it. <laughs> You're right. Well, then you could just hit it a third time and redo it. <laughs> I turn the fire suppression system off and back on again. Okay, well, as you turn it off, you see whatever that fire was start to lurch forward again and come into the, come near the bridge area. And then as you hit the button again, it uh, cuts off again. <laughs> it may have contained that other explosion, whatever fire started from that too next time. That could have yeah. been something. Uh, well, since the, the ship is just moving, and we can't really. Well, can we operate it? I don't think so. You can steer. You guys, you guys know you guys can steer it. Well, yeah. And we'll move. Steer, steer to the towards the moon. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. just, on the meantime, I, I suggest we examine the hey. ship by going around yeah. the hole. For the moment, I'm going to stay here with the medic and go on Overwatch on these uh, two doors to the bridge. So if any Eldar come in. Uh, in between these doors here, I'm just gonna fucking shoot him. <laughs> Got it. So it's gonna be a tech use and a navigation check to steer it towards uh, the moon. The moon or the moon? Because I don't think it's a dumb moon. That's an orcus place. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's in there like the I bad moon. I would moons. rather fight orcs than Eldar. It's not the Again? bad moons, orcs. 
if you said the moon. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, well, it must be uh, from the bad moons then. Yeah. <laughs> it's just and, like uh, the bad jokes you're having. On the uh, on the other side of the bad moons is the evil suns. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> So minus minus fifty to discover uh, how to navigate this thing, and then a nav check. Oh, that's okay. Because you're uh, you're, you're trying you. to decipher what is what, because that's all alien to you. you. Tech use minus forty and with I'm, possibility. And I'm trying to uh, assess with you. All right, so minus thirty. Oh no. I know nothing. Hey, I've rolled 69, giggity. <laughs> oh, boy. How many favorite rolls do you have left? 15? Oh, we got 15, so we got 14. Uh, okay. We rolled that with another plus 10. Minus 20 this time. Yep, it would be. All right. Ayo. Hey. So you're able to discern the navigation system on this vessel that it's still operational and nav check. Does anyone have A space brilliant navigation? Yeah, you see. Does anyone have what? Yep, you see I'm brilliant. I'm in surface uh, navigation. I don't think that's going to help here. Yeah, I don't think anyone has no, no, no. surface navigation. Yeah. You mean space. Yeah, I have surface only. I don't have anything else for nav. Otherwise, it would be just a blank roll. Oh, at the surface of the planet. <laughs> I'll be right back. The first thing that happens the is we ram the moon. <laughs> well, you they see, it the works. They survive it all the time. Yeah. You see a brilliant okay. hologram of the, of the system, and you see uh, the various moons of the system and planets. Technically, space is just one very complicated surface. <laughs> it's two surfaces intersecting each other. Ah, oh, it's a three D plane. But yeah, yeah, you can use navigation, uh, surface navigation if you have to. Oh, it's really? whatever. Okay, let's go for it. So what's the roll in there? Is the mod? Uh it's it's just gonna be a minus twenty. All right, ten with the possibility shield. Hey yo. 17. Yep, you're able to point the ship at the moon, and the ship is still moving in that direction. Good idea, Space Shark Librarian. We will navigate to the surface of the moon. <laughs> I point the ship and, in that direction. And you guys... Yes, you're welcome, Iron Hand Tech Marine. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Well, you know, sometimes he just needs an extra hand. First leg of the journey over to there, because uh, you're able to deduce... Uh, you're moving at a decent pace. It's still alien to you. You don't know what any of the symbols mean. You're able to deduce your ship is moving. So the first leg of the journey, you're doing well. I sure. recommend you uh, find what the cums are in this ship so we don't get shot out of the sky with orbital defenses. All right, right I will try to find the comms. What's the uh, roll, Boko? Uh, it's going to be a minus 50. All right, so mine is 40. Is anyone assisting? All right, the second leg of the journey. Know. Yeah, second leg of the journey. You guys hear another explosion? But the ship is still moving. Uh, you're able to find their, their the communication system. You, you you discern that it is some sort of communication device for this ship. Brothers, I found some sort of alien communication device. What can you discern from it? I can discern from it that it's a communication device used to communicate yeah. with other communication devices. Of Eldar origin. 
A Veldon. No, you're... Yes, but can you alter it to work with Imperium technology? I don't know. I'll probably have to get past my vehement, seething hatred of the Eldar. Well, then I recommend you do it now. <laughs> uh, all right, Boko. I'm going to try and uh, retool this comm console or whatever so we can use it. What's the tech use modifier on that? Uh, it's going to be my... Minus what? You cut out. Minus 80. Minus 80. Oh, holy shit. So it would be Oof. minus 60? Yes. All right. You can still make it. Oh. Okay. Uh, you had 13 hit it. points left. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, the cheese is real with this one. So that last one was 60. Should be, yeah, should be 50. minus 50 now. Hey, yo. Hey. Yeah, able with, with your training to somehow switch the channel to uh, Imperial Channel as you try to relate to and oh. to whom. So uh, I'm going to. Try and see if uh, Inquisitor Orthodermis is on the line. Okay. Inquisitor, we have a mission update. Dan, you're Ah, up. he's revived. Praise the Emperor. I'm so glad he sounds so excited. He's Inquisitor, what do you expect? <laughs> yes, but that praise the Emperor is uh, lacking sufficient oomph. That's all I'm saying. Mind your tongue. <laughs> You're talking to the Inquisitor. <laughs> Mind your tongue lest you uh, have it cut out. Whoa. Who's the throne? If you're going to no, praise the Emperor, point? do it right. I do it. it, it Inquisitor Orthodomus praises the Emperor right on his own time, not in public. Right. <laughs> that oh. sounds like heresy to me. Oh. oh, no. We're not going there, are we? We're not. Let's not. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> All right. So, what, what is your message to the. Uh... So, um, I don't know. Does Brazor want to get on the line? Because. You've got the, uh, like, you're All basically right. the direct agent. Brazor, come hither. I have, I have, uh, the Inquisitor on the line. Someone go watch that door just in case. One, two, three, not it. <laughs> I'm already there. All right. All right. All right. Uh, warp entity. Warp entity was destroyed. We escaped. The explosions, the other uh, Eldar ship rammed it, blew up. So both ships destroyed. Took out another three Eldar patrol craft with the Thunderhawk. Stole oh, the last one. And the uh, other Eldar ship that was in space seems to have left. I'm back. What happened? Not much. Well, we got in contact line. with the Inquisitor, so.
Uh, Very good. Long. We've made our way to the colony on the moon. It's backwaters mining colony with no imperial pres presence of any kind, other than me and my assortment of crew. I spelled that. I butchered the presence wrong. Oops. That's all right. Pre-science. Pre <laughs> oh, good. I mean, it's a mining colony. They shouldn't have any pre-science. Presence. I think I'm presence. dyslexic because I read that as presence. Yeah, that added the I where it didn't belong. You just read it using proper context clues, so you read the word properly when, you re when it came across, despite it being misspelled. Mm. Yes, the Inquisitor somehow manages to misspell his speech. <laughs> <laughs> right. It must have been some uh, static interference. We've made contact with another battle group that will be here within three weeks' time. We must hold here until then. The additional Elder Fleet has a light cruiser and many patrol-class ships. My ship was destroyed in the ensuing battle. Do you know how many patrol-class ships there were? Many. <laughs> At least two. Well, I mean, if it's four, <laughs> it's down to none. There's Somewhere between the 1 and 85. <laughs> <laughs> At least no, two, no. no less than one. Well, you can scratch four off that list then, Inquisitor. We're in the fourth, headed towards the moon. Right. There were at least ten, not was. Dan, you're up. Uh Past tense. Uh, I already said that there was at least 10 in the battle against us. Yes. Was is singular, were is plural. They're both past tense. Fair. Sure. It's why you can't run in a campground. You can only ran. This is past tense. Holy no, fuck. Anyways. Moving on. <laughs> Okay. So if we're careening towards the moon right now. Are we telling the Inquisitor that? Or did we I just already? Did. Okay, sweet. And a stolen Eldar ship. I think we should make uh, examinations of the ship. Because those explosions we've, are not. Yeah, so we've lost healthy. two engines. Well, we think we lost it. We don't know. Probably. Yeah, you, just heard, you heard two explosions so far since you've been moving. Oh, maybe something's shooting at us. You know, that's where we should go check. <laughs> or maybe I can go check. Does anybody All right. see a window? Well, the bridge, the, 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 the whole bridge, which we went through, is still there, no? Like, it, it's, it's a big hole. So you're looking All outside, right. see, can the outside of the ship see the, anything tracking you guys? Well, sure, I just need to take a peek first, yeah. Okay. So, you're looking out there, you see a lot of the, uh, at least one of the solar, just completely gone. At least one of the what? One of the solar cells. You don't, you don't... You're cutting out again. Oh. You said one of the solar cells. One is of the solar cells is gone, the top one. All right. So. 
Is there anything shooting at us now that we're looking around? Or someone is? Awareness check? Car off. Modifier. Ah, uh, plus 40. You don't see anything tracking plus 40. you guys. Yeah, you don't see anything tracking you at all. All with your visible eyes. We don't see it from this side. I'll, yep. I'll go out of the hole and onto the other ship side. All right. Other side. Do I see anything? Roll again. Awareness. Same modifier. A prison mess, yes. Uh oh. So oh, you're looking. Feed. Yeah. So you're looking around. You don't see any other, any other vessel or any kind of thing actively shooting at you. All right. Uh, is the solar panel on this side also damaged, or is is it good? So the top one's oh. gone. The one left side is also destroyed. And it looks like whatever's whatever's pushing this vessel, uh, one of the engines on the outside looks visibly destroyed. I relay the two hour tech marine. So what looks visibly destroyed? Sorry. An uh, engine. An engine. Alright. Do you and want me to damaged. try and repair it? Perhaps? I mean, does it matter? We're already creating towards the uh, moon. So, so, Karnoth, you're able to ascertain, like, if there was an engine there, it is probably gone. It is be beyond repair. It's even missing. From, yeah, so even from There's your eyes, like... the other side, but it doesn't match over here. It's probably gone. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, you're able to ascertain very quickly if the ship is on its last legs. Yeah. All right. But, uh... And it looks like something struck you, too. Where that uh, solar cell on the left that is yeah. damaged? You yeah, it looks, looks like, like... like something struck you guys. It doesn't look like... like we hit a rock? Possible. Is there a hole breach in that location? Uh, you see multiple hole breaches on the left side. And that fire, you see it also emanating from those holes. Uh, Robert Marine, can you perhaps uh, activate the fire suppression systems elsewhere? I the mean, they're already, they're already active. The whole they're already thing. They're already active everywhere. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, we didn't reactivate them after that second explosion. So no. Maybe we should do it again. Mm, okay. We did. Well, we did it once, but we didn't do it after the second one. But I mean, it's still oh. going. and should still kill every all the fires. I well, maybe it's only suppressing the ones that are active when it turns on. I'll, I'll let the GM the decide breach. on that one. I'll come closer to the whole breach, but I won't actually go in. That's... So, you, so you're pushing this button as, as he's uh, looking at it, I guess? Uh, yeah, I guess yeah so. from, from like a small distance away. Right. So every time you push that button, Tesseract, you see the the fires come towards the bridge. I'm assuming you're gonna hit that button immediately as soon as it's close uh, to you. Yeah. And then they go, they dissipate. So you, you do that. Karnoth, you don't see action that whatsoever. Means. Yeah, you just see the fire. You just see the fires and the smoke, but smoke bellowing. Got it. Maybe each section has different fire suppression. Most likely. Uh, there was. Uh, you also mentioned there was a um, a, a damaged cell on the right on the top side of the ship. Right. As well. uh, is that near the helm, or is it like how close is it to the so, helm? Like, yeah. Go ahead. Do a perception check. It's gonna be reactionary. And modifier. Uh, we minus twenty. No. Hmm. Okay. 
a large explosion on that side of the ship explodes. Uh, you do a strength check to try to hold on, or you use jet pack to maneuver, uh, but you are going to take... Don't worry, guys. That explosion took care of itself. It exploded. <laughs> the explosion you're, exploded. You're going to take 17 points of damage. Oh, no. Inquisitor Orthodermis is damaging oh. us. <laughs> no. <laughs> Orthodermis, no. I knew he wasn't pious enough, that traitor. Uh, it's if I don't succeed or if I do succeed. It's like, uh, like how do I... You said, like... Uh, okay, yeah. agility, agility check to to do, to mitigate half that, and a strength check to hold on to the ship in some way, or jetpack over there, whatever you want to do. So I'll give you a couple options, because it is right. launch, launching you off the ship at this point. All right, I'm going to use my jump back, and that's giving me a plus 20 on my tests. So uh, what's the modifier on that? Huh. Uh, agility check. It's it's going to be a minus 40. No. So you're taking Oof. you're taking seventeen. Is that gonna be mitigated by armor or is it not? Uh yeah, it's all it's all over the box. Seventeen just to you, so then I take armor it. <laughs> Fine. I take it. Okay. And I make uh well, I I was stood the dam. I was stood the explosion. I would like to look inside the hole just to see what it, was the cause of it, or like to discern. What was oh, the cause of it. Uh, well, I mean, you see more of that fire uh, and debris mm -hmm. all over the place now, flying next to the ship at this point in the jetpack. <laughs> yeah, sure. Because good twenty meters away, uh, and Yelma, you you're good, you're uh, librarian's report. Those fires, or whatever it is, seems to be e heating up the whole alien shield thing, whatever it is. He says the the the, the walls seem to be melting. Uh oh. Cool. Because you had them uh, over there, and I assume. No, I can't. I don't have any control of them or vision from them. So. Well. Um, interesting. I made them. What? Okay. Well, whenever I get transferred to this map, they just weren't. Cool. Interesting. Apologies. And... Anyway. So, uh, Tech Marine. Iron yes, Hands brother. Tech Marine. <laughs> I have a name, you know. Yes, yeah, so do I, but you failed to use it. Sorry, Ericlades. Thank you, Neil Tyson. <laughs> now, uh, my librarians have reported that uh, the walls are melting currently. Hmm. <laughs> Fix it. That sounds bad. Okay, <laughs> and? The so Karnoff, you, you have, if you're the only one who I can and hopefully and rely on to uh, repair failing in <laughs> infrastructure of this ship. All right. Uh, let me see if I over? can. Let me see what I can do, brother. Uh, I'm gonna do a tech use roll, Boko, to see if it's possible for me to like do something about the melting ship, or at least tell uh, Erquates and his crew how to handle it. So how to handle mod melting metal? <laughs> so what's the modifier on that? Oh shit! The fuck. Minus eighty. I'm yeah, also assisting in that. Sweet. Boko, could, you, could you repeat that, what she said to me earlier? Uh, what are you doing at this time? Are you just staying outside the ship, or are you going back inside? Uh, seeing as the... Oh. Well, I'm just examining, like, it's, like, it's just the fire causing it, so I'm just going to go back inside, yeah. Back inside. Yep. The, the and as you're, flying, as you're flying... Yeah, as you're flying in, you just see the last solar cell uh, explode and fall off. You guys feel that explosion. I relay that to the team. So, their ship, uh, second leg of the journey is. Yeah, you can 
dire straits, but you make it pretty pretty good time. You're still about a day away from your destination, it seems. At these at this current speed. What if we turn off the engines? Yeah, we should just continue. Oh, what if I turn it off the engines? Maybe the engines are like. Well, I'm assu- I'm assuming you weren't blasting the engines the entire time you're in space. I'm sure he blasted it just to get up to speed and shut it down. I'm assuming that's what Tesseract did. I don't know. I mean, Is that what you did? Well, I'm asking. I mean, I would push the engines as much as they can handle in order to get us to the moon as quickly as possible. Oh. Okay. Well. All right. So you're still just holding. You're just holding it down. Got it. Yeah, pretty much. I'm on the throttle. I'm like to making honest, minute like, adjustments. This is, Eldra- but... this is Eldra technology. You should be mindful of that they have warp fuckery on the foot. Yeah. So let's see. You also need to use the engines to slow down, so let's not overstress it. So, Yamaga, are you having your guys still remain at that at that spot? Or are they going to be coming back to the bridge, or what are you having them do? I mean, I'd probably just have them be around me. Got it. So, yeah, you know, what one one person per per other person? That way, they can constantly give everyone uh, a possibility shield. Okay, uh, you should have control of your guys now. Do you not? No, I got right. it. Okay, cool. So move out as you see fit. So the the drawer or whatever. Okay, so is that I'm gonna be there the whole time? The last uh this next this this next day. Second leg of the journey. Where is he gonna be at? So he'll he'll be like probably here to like, you know, witness the door. Got it. But everyone else is gonna be at least with one other person. And now we wait. So your librarian reports back that uh, the walls seem to be very, very melted. There seems to be holes. And he says that that fire that was before uh, here before seems to be seeping around. Cool. Brother Tyson, it seems the walls have melted even further. And that is unfortunate. Has, and the fire Perhaps. has respread back into the area of which we are currently inhabiting. Perhaps we should try to put the fire out. Uh, I push the fire suppression button on and off again, or off and on again. See if hey. it does anything. As you shut that off, uh, can you do a jail? Who me? Uh, check there for your librarian. That's in- oh, the librarian. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I don't like where this math. is going. Uh, fireball, anyone? Ooh. He quickly dodges into that hallway as a giant inferno comes racing down the hallway. Jet of flame. Right, because he would have taken. Oop. Let's see. Had he just sat there. You're taking that much damage. Holy shit. So nothing to worry about. 154 damage? Would that, that not incinerate him? Yeah, that uh, fire's under control. He, he would have been fine. <laughs> okay. He would have been fine. He would have been cooked inside his own armor. Are you kidding me? Nah. No, he would have nah. been fine. He would have been fine. Because he wouldn't have cared anymore. <laughs> 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 he wouldn't have felt he, anything. 
Yeah, he tells you that uh, the fire has indeed spread way further and is nearing the bridge. Well, as I can physically see it as well. Mm hmm. Brother Tyson, you made it worse. Brother Tyson, My try... sincerest apologies, brother. I'll try not to do that again. Is there like try a dial the next to this fire suppression thing to turn it up? Or maybe there's other fire suppression buttons? Uh, I don't know. But we should try. But what try if we turn the dial the wrong changes. way and then we turn it down and becomes less effective? Then we just have to turn it the other direction. <laughs> yeah, but start, how many agility I, checks are all these librarians going to need to take to only not get Only need to cooked? succeed in one. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I think we need to... Sitting around doing nothing has obviously not helped. So you pushing the button back uh, again? Push no. The it is a button. He pushed it once. So you need to push it again. And you no, no, we're, we're looking he said for he other controls up, around it. Oh, uh, on. okay. Yeah. Well, it does. It flashes and then dissipates. All right. I recommend you stop pressing the button. I think that's a good just idea. Tape it off. So, Boko, I'm gonna check for like hand extinguishers, like just around the. Uh, we like can do that. Alien hand just, hand we can look for <laughs> fire extinguishers. You try to figure out if there's more to this fire suppression system than a single. Okay. Button. All right. I'm gonna try and look for. Anything that could the edges. that could assist the uh, fire suppression, or rather, like Moth is suggesting, maybe there's multiple buttons for multiple chip sections, or like a dial where you can turn it up. That's what I'm looking for. So, what's the modifier right. on that? Minus, minus uh, fifty. Okay. So and minus forty. Yeah, Eric uh -oh. um as you're sitting there, you start to notice these uh, walls are getting red hot. These right here. Is there anything we could do to, I don't know, lessen the uh, the power output that is currently being distributed to the ship? Hmm. So maybe it's an electrical fire? Maybe... Maybe we try shutting off the engines for a moment and see what happens. Thank you, oh. Brother Ericlides. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I kill the engines. Oh. Boko, Ooh, your I shut the your engines ship's... off. Uh, you I what? hear you. Uh, your ship's still moving. Uh, right. uh, about 10, 15 minutes later, uh, the walls are starting to get left. Red hot. It seems to have worked. Excellent. During that ten minutes, I'm still looking for a fire extinguisher. Same, actually. And if that's fine, uh, oh, sorry. Clearly, don't believe in them. We don't know that. <laughs> like, can we try to? Hey, uh, Moth, can't can't Prezora do observation mastery to look for yeah, a fire I'm, extinguisher? I'm I'm waiting for a modifier. Ah. Okay. I didn't minus, want to take over someone. Minus 50 for you guys. You two. You and Karnoff. Alright. There's looking... a possibility shield on everyone because everyone has a library next to them. Ooh. So you guys find like these weird weird uh, you just know that these weird things they seem to be placed every, in intervals in, uh, in the hallways. And it's like it looks like an egg, like a metallic egg of some sort. It's a fire foam popper grenade. Not, I, not as small as an egg. Like, yeah, uh, it's uh pretty sizable, like uh two watermelons tall, I guess. So I don't know how else to describe it. What? I pick up the egg. I, I, yeah. the eggs and okay. I guess I try and figure out how to work it. I sit on I the egg, so it will hatch. Egg. Squeezing places. <laughs> so it will hatch into uh, fire. So, baby. So, who's. 
Oh, you throw it in the fire? He throws it in the just, fire. I try and figure out how it works. I just throw it in the fire. So, how close are you get to the fire and where are you throwing it? Uh, well, I'm going to, like, so it's a sizable distance. Like, maybe, like, a, a, a good 20, 15 meters away from the fire. Okay. Uh, can you do a dodge check once, once you throw it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> or not dodge, um, agility. Do agility mod. Yeah, I'm sure it's you guys. Thing for me. Don't worry, okay. you're about to find out. All right, modifiers. Uh, minus forty. You've embraced the spirit of fucking around, so you have invoked the wrath of finding out. Yeah, so, so what about that? But not today. Yeah. yeah. As yeah, yeah. As you do that, you see a, just a brilliant blue flash right mm -hmm. right like that and you see that these fires subside a little bit but there's the shrapnels pierce the holes all around you oh probably not how that works they're just regular grenades <laughs> <laughs> looks like plasma grenades here Yeah, the fire subsides when you did that. Definitely subsides. Like it like it did something. <laughs> Those elders sure do know how to build extinguishers. <laughs> the roll for the last leg of the journey. Oh, what what do I roll for trying to figure out how the fire extinguisher works? I would imagine I would imagine it's a tech use roll. Oh, I was hoping it's not techies. Could be possibly Xenos lore. I don't know. Use, yeah, Xenos lore techies. I have neither, so it's the same. Yay! Uh, All right, I'll I'll go. I'll, like after throwing it, I'll be. Like, hmm. Let me take a quick look at a look at this. See, the entire hallway is frosted over. Oh, sh cool. Uh, I'm going to look at the, uh, this egg that Resort is holding and attempt to uh, Xenos lore. Uh, what's the modifier? Right, and uh, er Ericlady, as you see that the walls are no longer red hot. In fact, they look like they're, uh, there's condensation or something on the wall, like something very frozen on the other side. It's hmm, almost curious. as if someone chugged the a fire extinguisher into the fire. The walls seem to be crying now, Brother Tyson. Ah, They're producing water. Hmm. This Eldar are strange people. <laughs> so uh, what's the value for the uh, tech use trying to figure out how the extinguisher works? No, it's Minus the Xenos lore from uh, Dan. What's the modifier? What's Minus the modifier? 50. For the lore as well? Minus 50. For the lore uh, as well, right? Yeah, I, I have no oh, idea. Oh, God. Good lord. Your God can't help you here. So you see, you just you just pick it up and you throw it. I guess <laughs> like, I heat the other one into another fire. <laughs> well, I think so you maybe you want here, to ask the tech marine over the radio after describing it what it is. We tell him there's a bunch of eggs in alcoves all over the ship. We can just throw into fire to put fire out. <laughs> and then I come. It works. <laughs> oh so, yeah, the last thing like, be a little explosive, but it works. Yeah, the last leg of the journey, you hear two more distinct explosions somewhere down that hallway. I guess it's time to get more eggs. Let's go. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pick up as many eggs as I can. Same. I'm going to yeah, go outside. But, uh, the breach. Just don't put them all in one basket. I go around the inside. Every fire I see, I'll drop an egg into. <laughs> yeah, same. Roll an egg and throw an egg, whatever <laughs> it is. Yeah, same. Oh, my Going God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We're preparing for our Easter celebration. You hear, yeah, you hear uh, 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 an alien ping, something like that, Ooh. coming from the vacation area. Just ping, 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 ping. The vacation area? I didn't know that Eldar had <laughs> tourists on their ships. Communications area. Oh, uh, okay. You see, like, uh, blinking purple. Light and it goes bing bing 
And Brasori, you're chucking that egg into... Yep. Where? Right about here. Okay. As you do that, uh, agility. Agility or dodge? Either one, whatever you want to use. Any modifier? Uh, minus 40. I'm good. Yep. Like last time. You just see a giant frosted hallway. You see shrapnel go everywhere all around you. Uh, Eric Lades, you see that wall <laughs> where you're at. Let's see. Just see it uh, turn very blue. The ship is strange, Brother Tyson. Now the walls are just changing color. <laughs> Somehow, I figured that out, that the ship is strange. <laughs> as long as they don't get hot and melt away and there's no fire, we should hopefully be fine. Uh, too late on all accounts. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and what are you guys doing now at this point? You guys are, as you're checking the navigation there, Tesseract, you guys are yep. approaching the moon and uh, actually in orbit now at this point, in the last leg of the journey, other than Sweet. the two explosions on the last day, you guys were able to contain everything, and now you're hearing the ping, 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 and the purple light at, at the communications area what you recognize as the communications uh terminal is this a fire over here too or is that just a remainder of something that's just a whole breach we had not the whole breach that's the whole breach all right no, i all walk right. i walk over to the terminal and respond to the hail oh that's a bad idea okay. well quick, i mean quick, you just fake get... eldar how's your accent uh i, I mean do not do eldar I... So you're pushing the button for communications, you push it, and then, uh, you don't hear anything, but that purple light's still going off. Um, I speak Technolingua into it, into the, uh, thing. What's the modifier? Minus 50? Okay. Minus 40 the possibility. A. Hey. Um... I techno babble my way into the uh, thing and see if anyone can understand me on the other end. So, you just know that the purple light at the communications. Yeah. And that's all you're able to, 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 to discern. There's nothing that replies to you as you're pressing the communications button on, off, or anything like that. Got it. You just see ping, 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 ping. Ooh, ooh, maybe it's an electronic mail. <laughs> an email? Brother, the email protocol has been defunct for hundreds of millennia, dozens of millennia. Man, they wouldn't know what that is. Right. They're Eldar. They're super old. They probably still use it. No, I mean, the Space Marines wouldn't know what the hell email is. Right. So what are you guys doing at this point? You guys are in orbit of the... I guess we should try and uh, establish contact with the Inquisitor then and say that we're in orbit. And then I would recommend rather you, than trying to... Are you to, steering the ship or trying to steer the ship or what are you doing? Cause your ship... I'm, I'm going to leave it in orbit and I think we should look for like drop pods to go down to the planet that way. So, because. Okay, yeah. so as you're trying to maneuver the ship into a stationary orbit and move it, it doesn't... Nothing seems to respond. The ship is just flying right at that moon. Well, that's one way to slow down. <laughs> right. Got got you some litho brakes. Quick 180 and try and go. <laughs> that should break. 
Got it. So, uh, brace for impact, brothers. ETA, right the hell. Sooner now. than we like. What is your ADA? What is your ETA? Quick, oh, somebody do the math. How fast are we going, and how far away is the planet? So, um, I calculate the math in my head, and uh, too fast, too close. I say, uh. Inquisitor, our ETA is one minute, plus or minus 12 years. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We're careening towards the surface of the moon. Uh, watch out below. Got it. Brothers, brace for impact. See if you can't, you know, reverse the engine thrust by spinning us around. I if think you can't you lessen this impact a little. Okay, no. so the main Understood. thrusters, Spoko, the main thrusters are not working, because if we turn it on, then the whole ship will melt down, but I'm thinking, uh, what if we... We put out the fire. What if we oh, use we the navigation? The I think we, we just, we have a small window of using them. Also, do keep in mind, you were running those engines for two days straight. Yeah, true. Okay, I try and, like, hit the engines or air brakes or something, anything that can <laughs> slow us down. But yeah, air Andrew, brakes in yeah. space, as if that's a thing. But you know what I mean. So as you're doing that, uh, Con Helm, I I full reverse back. You start hearing warnings blare all around the entire bridge. Just going off. You see the entire uh, navigation terminal, and uh, on the moon and the and the navigation thing, you just see like a um, pulsing red icon and some kind of weird icon with some weird symbols I'm going Next to turn. try and steer the ship somehow to avoid the icon just crash on the surface no it's the it's the moon right and there's yeah. like a, a red icon around it indicating something and numbers next to it or not numbers fuck I uh, yeah. uh, strange weird. characters. Strange cha Thank you. Can LR I, character. Can I do Forbidden Xenos lore to try and figure out what the hell that means? Sure. All right. Modifier. Minus uh, sixty. Oof. Okay. Nope. You have no idea what it is. Um, and you're trying to steer the ship. In some sort. I'm head towards yeah. the whole breach. I'm uh, I'm trying to steer the ship away from whatever that is on the navigation and just land on the moon itself. Well, I mean, that is is the moon. You're able to see that it's, the icon is around the moon. That's oh, the entire like, moon. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Impact in T minus so, five, four, yeah, pretty much three, two, one. Okay. So. We're going to do some, have some fun here. So I'm going to look out the breach, and when I stop seeing fire from re-entry, I'm just going to, you know, uh -oh. leave. The GM no, I, need, we can't I have a jetpack. Yeah. I have a jetpack. I say so, we just do the exact same thing we did to get out of the Thunderhawk and just slowly try and descend that way. Here's the problem. That's not going to work. Jetpack parachute. Bro, it'll work yeah. for you two. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> <You're laughs> <you're laughs> No one else will be fine. Well, okay, I have a crazy, crazy A team plan here. We can have everybody form that same ring again and all fire their <laughs> bolters all at once. That should <laughs> slow us down. Once <laughs> <slight. laughs> gravity is in effect, how much that gravity, nonsense though? no longer works. How much gravity, though? Might I, oh, uh, might I remind you that a single bolter round like explosive. <sighs> Well, and they have a good caliber. kick. And do keep in mind, we're all in power armor, so we should be able to survive a pretty decent impact. Oh, so our dominant, our like kill team captain has a heavy bolter, which is you know a <laughs> rapidly firing one. So thrust, he could provide some thrust with that thing. All right, so, I guess let's so... just do that then. More DACA. Plus, we have the two jetpacks slowing us down. The, the, uh, this moon obviously has an atmosphere. Yeah, once it's colony and gravity. Plus, so you're, plus you're we'll be out. atmospherically breaking using the ship. 
So as long as we wait until the fires go out on the outside of the ship, for the most part, we should be able to pop out and have a significantly slower speed. Is it Very like a normal inertia. atmosphere? On the Space Marine falling a thousand kilometers to plummet to uh, the ground is still going to die. Yeah, those of jetpacks how... will be fine. Those of out jetpacks will just die. That's a I sacrifice mean... I'm willing to make. I'm oh, just going to stay on the ship and... Uh... Good luck. <laughs> it's going to be better is... than me jumping out of it. So uh, you and Karnoth are jumping out of the ship to jetpack down? Yeah, I'm uh... taking Sylvester with me, I think. I should be able to descend with two people just by Really? Oh, hold up. She's... You, you don't control her, control her, so... The rest oh, okay, you. then. Whatever. She does whatever she does, then. Yeah, yeah, hold up. So I think she's people in Jetpack can bail, and everyone else can hang I mean, on. if, if uh, no one's coming oh. with us, I'm not going to go. It, she does not wish to go with you. She's like, <laughs> I will, I will perish jumping out that. All right, All right. So if no one comes with us, then I will stay on or remain on the ship. Are you sure? You're not gonna go with uh, Bersora? I mean, Bersora, yeah. you could order people around if you wanted to. Theoretically, I'm they're gonna stay with my kill team. Uh, I, I mean, they're another kill team. Uh, the one that would listen to you is probably uh, Eric. Ladies, yeah, he's one under, under one you. jetpack trying to slow an Eric Lady's entire team is not gonna work. So. All right, no, look, no, 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 no. Look. Uh, Brazora did an intelligence roll. She succeeded, and she knew that I she didn't... would get fucked up. What are up. you talking about? That was Zio. That was Zio who did it. Or not Brazora, Sylvestra. Sorry. Sylvestra and Tweety. Um, right. I think uh, I'm going to just stay on the ship and brace for impact. That's what I'm going to do. Well, if you could... Try and do anything you can to, you know, uh, emergency land the ship. I try and do anything I can to, you know, emergency land the ship. <laughs> uh, okay, what's the tech, modifier? Okay. Now tech I might stay since he's actually tech. doing something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> minus, minus 60 in tech use. All right. So it'll be minus 50 uh, total. Plus, oh, plus, it doesn't matter. Plus 10 for possibility shield. Oh my god, that's a 98. Plus I'm rerolling that. another 10 because of uh, someone else. Now. Yep. So it'd be what, I'm sure somebody's 30? assisting you. It'd be minus yep. 30 then? Alright. Oh my that's, god. Uh, 11 fate points okay. now. Right, burn yeah. a fate point. Yeah. Let's do if it. If you could make a roll that's uh, less than 90 to start with, then we can <laughs> work our nice. way down to an appropriate roll. <laughs> I've been getting dog shit rolls like the past week. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So you are able to just barely bring the nose of the ship. Like, there must have been something still active. Oh, it's going to land at a uh, better angle than you were, which was going to be nose Straight down. On. Straight on with you on the bridge and whatnot. So. Oh. I would imagine Everyone's... we want to be at a yeah, minor everyone... angle. That way, there's like. We can yeah, kind of yeah. Do Ideally, we're gonna want to be thirty to fifteen. So yeah, everyone. We're do, going uh, ninety. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, as the ship impacts the the moon's surface, uh, everyone needs to do uh, three toughness saves. Oh, okay. Min minus what? Minus, minus sixty. Oh, minus God. sixty. Yeah. I, I failed every single one. Yeah, nobody's got that much toughness. No, no one has. Above 50 toughness, unless they bought above toughness and they rolled max on character creation. Got it. Uh, hello. <laughs> when I'm not going to bother rolling. <laughs> I failed all three. When the ships slow, when I see the ships slow down and the nose come up, I'm just going to jetpack out this hole. Uh, let's see. Uh, Foco, that's like impossible, man. Impossible. Yeah, it is pretty tough. No, it uh, is literally impossible. No, I'm I'm trying to think what you guys can do to. Are you guys bracing yourself, right? Yeah, we would have prepared for uh, crash landing. Uh, yeah. I'll take twenty off that. So it's minus. If, if you can do oh, so thing. minus forty. Cool. Oh, so I only have to roll above a four then. Yeah. Same. <laughs> well, below a four. Sorry, yeah. You below never a four. know. <laughs> We have I'm have taking that my possibility points. shield on each one of these. Yeah. So minus 30. 
Oh god. I still say yeah. yeeting myself out the side of the ship and jetpacking down is my safest option. Right. So I'm doing that. Screw this nonsense. Uh, Turn off. There goes my first oh, one. I saved on the last one. Uh, you still have plenty of fate rolls. We do. We have 11 of them. <laughs> I failed my second one. And Plus, there's always the emergency option. I, I succeed with my third one, so I only failed my second roll. I failed my first two, but I succeeded my uh, last roll. Eric, ladies. <clears throat> Hold on. I have fate points. <laughs> that was my last fate point, but now I have 11 fate points. <laughs> right. But then there's also all of them. Right. Yep. Uh, uh oh. Uh, Don't worry. You could permanently burn a fate point to survive lethal injuries. Oh, yeah. Right. That's we, true. I don't think we have that as a space marine. Nope. Everybody has that. It's uh, part of fate points. Yes. Oh, okay. The special thing for mine is I can permanently burn one and have full health and ammo and right. so, like that. I failed two so far. How many has everyone else failed? Because we only have eleven to go around. I failed one. I failed. Okay. I failed two. All right. Of three. Uh, uh, I don't two. think uh, Dominego has gone, and then Moth is uh, Moth bailed out. Jeff, he out the, I jumped <laughs> off. I abandoned ship. <laughs> I'm still here. So, should I roll pilot checks for a jump pack? Alright, dude, you Probably. need to do three toughness saves with minus 30. Minus, minus 50. Well, you plus the possibility. One. No, it's Jungle. minus 40. You said minus Burning. 40. Yeah, but no, 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 for, for Moth's character. The, oh, uh, okay. So, so minus 50. Then. Pilot checks to the first jump, and then the last two to, to parachute all the way down. Do not fail the first one. Minus 50, the first one. And you do not have possibility showing this. Oh, holy oh, shit. Minus. That was a 94. Good thing I got all my fate points. Hold on, but mind okay. only thing or... Well, you're going to yeah, need to do search. three toughness minus 30 rolls. Alrighty. Okay, first one succeeds. Okay, cool. Okay. You you get, get out of there. Uh, so, just tell me... This is very wrong. Minus 30, not minus 50. Oh, Dominego cannot succeed. Wait, no. Uh, Dominego needs to be rolling minus 30. Yeah, minus yeah, 50. you're rolling the wrong numbers there. Yeah, the, yeah okay. the, 50, the 50 was for uh, Moss' character, not you. Because he he literally jumped out of the ship. So the 50 was for him piloting out, not getting smacked by the ship in other debris as you guys go into the atmosphere. And what are the okay. rest for mine? The other two? <laughs> Modifier on them? Uh, it's it's going to be... A lot safer, so, so minus you're 20 on the way down. Minus 20 on the All way right. down. Damn, I think Dominego I'm... needs some fate points. Yeah. How many, how, many fate, how many fate points do you guys have left? Not many. <laughs> well, if you have any ones, with me. If you have any personal ones, use them before we cut into our 11 uh, okay. other fate points. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those 11 were the space? Oh, okay. All right. Hey, I'm good with the Ooh. crit one at the end. Hello. <laughs> Fuck your landing in the ship. <laughs> <laughs> so Moss on the ground. Cool. So for everyone else, full three point landing. Use your fate rerolls until they're gone, and then we'll see how many we have left, and then we'll start cutting into those eleven fate points. I've got I was two left. Thinking over. this whole time that we were using our collective fate points, but not. No, 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 no. I mean, you use the ones that you have on yourself, but... Use yours first before dipping into the NPC's ones. We've got 11 fate points uh, for the librarians left. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Hold up, I forgot to do my uh, plus 10 from one of them, so I succeed one out of three. Okay, so you failed two. Alright, I succeed all of my toughness checks. <laughs> okay, Good. cool. So there's... The rest of us, then, I assume we've all spent our, our fate points? Uh, yeah. you have plus two fate points from me. Right, cool. So, so we got 13 fate points, then, for... I've got another two over here. If you want to give them to us, then that's 15 okay. fate points we can spend for the other six remaining rolls. Right, so Karnath is going to take uh, a quarter of the damage. 
So wherever the roll is. Cool. Then Let's figure that out after everyone else is rolled. Yes. Please tell me, like, how many out of the three rolls uh, you failed or succeeded? I succeeded right. one of three. Uh, well, hold yeah, on, hold on. We, we haven't done our rerolls yet. We haven't done our rerolls yet. There's uh, only three of us who have failed rolls so far. And uh, currently... Um, one, one of three successes? or what? Currently, yep. yeah, this is our current success is out of, out of three. Sweet. And I think Dominic also has one out of three. Oh, wait, no. Does he? Yeah, he has no, one out of three. He was one out of three. Okay, so that's that's six rolls. We got fifteen. Wait, I don't think he does. No, I'm looking at his rolls. The Menango doesn't have. Well, after one of the re rolls I did, I forgot to do minus twenty. You forgot oh, to do the my last points. one. My oh, last okay, one is okay. fine. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, cool. So each of us can have two re rolls. And then we have a further three, so we can see what happens after that. <laughs> Sound good? Oh, what about your NPC guys? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm just, I'll do all of them later, but they don't, they're not going to have any, they're all going to burn fate to stay alive. Because I'm just not going to worry about them. I mean, you haven't That's done too much rolling. You're using, oh, no, no, you're using their fate points. You can do three rolls for, and then I'll roll a one to six die. Same way. Get, take the damage at full strength. Sure. Uh, but for the rest of us, um, actually, no, we can have a... Oh, yeah, we, we, we each get two, two re-rolls, and then we have three left over. Well, so we have three re-rolls each. That, doesn't, that, that math doesn't work. Yeah, it does. No, it's, it does. Each, each of you has three re-rolls, yeah. No, because six times three is 18, but we only have 15, so... No, but like uh, you all do? have two rerolls, and then you three add the uh, three collective ones to each of you. So, we can each have five rerolls then. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. We each have five rerolls. Sweet. So we'll use them up. If first. you have any spare, we'll put them back in the pot. Who wants to go first? So as long as we have uh, one out of three, we should live, right? Or is that not? We don't know. <laughs> we don't. You don't. You don't. You don't know what's coming. Okay. Uh, this is your toughness to mitigate damage as much as possible. And so far, this is supposed to be negative oh, twenty, at least for me. Yeah. Same. What, uh, let's just do let's this one at a time. Yeah, I was just going to say that. All right. Damn. Okay, that was uh, all five of mine, and I am now two out of three successes. All right, who's next? Hopefully, uh, someone uh, has good mic. I guess take I'll go. Damage. You'll take a half damage, Yell Mug. Well, we'll see if somebody, you know, does super great and actually makes them, then there might be some more rerolls left over. All right, all right. Uh, so, what is it, five rerolls? And I have two rolls to reroll. Correct. Correct. And it's what, minus 20? Yes. Yep. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Jesus Christ. You know, I feel like our times yeah. three is not being affected here. Time to what? Yeah, it's not. It's only affected four. Okay, I got three problem. out of three. Sick. We take a quarter damage. You're time to what, dude? I feel like my multiplier isn't being affected. Like the uh, what multiplier? The unnatural toughness. The oh, three. The, the times three thing. The unnatural toughness bonus. It's not a multiplier per se. It works a bit differently. Yeah, wouldn't that just be for uh, absorbing damage? This is just like a save, for, basically. Alright, yeah, AFK for a minute. For... I gotta check on the birds.
Okay, who's up next? I guess uh, I go next. Yep, and you got five rolls. Hopefully, you can finish before five, so I can have some more rolls. Because <laughs> that, because oh, well, there's just like half. There's one success. Oh, god damn it! Ah, uh, is that not a success? Zero. Success? No, it, it is a success, but he took all five to succeed. Okay. So <laughs> I'm the only one taking half damage. Everyone else is taking a quarter damage. Oh, uh, did everyone else roll? Everyone roll? Yeah. Okay. So you guys ready? Oh, oh, uh, wait. Was Dan jumping out of the thing? No, Dan made all of his. Uh, that's right. He made all of his. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Moss jumped out. Um, yeah, yeah. So... Everyone else made all of their rolls except me. <laughs> so three rolls. For your squad of space marines, and now that, that will, we can determine the number of how much you're gonna take, full damage, quarter damage, whatever from uh, there. Full damage, most likely. Oh, half damage. One oh, save, yeah. so one, two of them uh, will take half damage. So two of them will take half damage. The other two. Uh, do earn fate points to stay alive. Sure. Um, so I guess do three rolls again to see how much damage they're taking. So they, 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 of those two groups. So another three? Yeah, just do All another right. three. I am back. At, at, at the same penalty? At the same penalty, yes. So they're just taking full damage. Okay. Of the other four. Of four taking full damage, two are taking at least half damage. Gotcha. This is utter got, lunacy. They got, they got zero degrees of success, so. Uh, yeah. Um, is everyone rolled then? Yep. Yep. Oh, Sylvester Seal. Uh, oh, yeah, Ma Sylvester. So let me roll for her. Let's see. Okay, Moth, do you still have access to that chart or no? You just go Moth ahead and roll for it. Here, I think. That was minus. It'll be a minus 30 in total. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oof. And then she also yeah. has her own fate points, which will make it a minus 20. Oh, is this the medic? Yes. Yep. Three yeah. Just, uh, last couple of rolls there. Um, oh, well, you already got the sheet open. That. Just, just, roll them. That just roll them. You, right. you already got the sheet open. All minus right, 20. all right. It's going to be minus a minus 20. 20. Sorry, Four. I stepped away from the bathroom for a sec. You rolled strength, not toughness. Ooh. Doesn't matter, failed either way. Yeah. It's only a two point difference. One more. Come on, one more. You can do it. I believe in you. Or can he? Did not, did, did not roll it? Uh, oh, oh, there oh, we go. There it is. Okay. Oh, all of them failed. Yeah. Full strength. Uh... Uh... Full strength oh. of 100. Oh, no. Cool. 106 damage. Got three three, you, take, you take quarter. I take Show. half of this? I'm still dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, so I'm burning. I'm burning I mean, fate point. Do you have any fate There's point no way to I not die, point. die? Yeah, are you burning a fate point to survive or to not die, die? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're unconscious. Well, hell, I mean, everyone's going to take, like, what, 200 and, uh, or, uh, 20, 25, 20, 27 damage? 26.5. So, uh, go ahead, round to the nearest hole. The 26. 26. 26. Yeah, 26.5, 26. 26. the, near, the nearest hole will be 27 damage. Yeah, but right. does that go through armor, or does it not go through armor? Uh, I'd imagine it goes through armor. Uh, no, armor can mitigate. Oh. Your armor would give you some sort of protection. You're like ca encapsulated, basically in a. All right, then y'all, y'all will be fine. <laughs> uh, your space marines, the ones that failed took half. The the ones that succeeded took. Uh, it it half doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. They're all going to be dead, same as me. <laughs> Zeal's also burning a fate point to not die outright. So, yeah, do because that's thing. 54 damage. If I subtract the 20 toughness, that's still 34 points of damage, which is still more than enough to kill me. Well, right. no, because you can survive, like, double your wound count. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, let's pull up that table. It's clearly damage. Uh, impacts damage. Right. Uh, how many fate points does your team have? How many of those guys are you going to try to survive? To, uh, to save oh, off oh, I would burn right. one for each of them. So Let, Let's see what the table says. For me, that's going to take me down to zero wounds. and then Zero wounds doesn't over. mean you're dead. Yeah, I know. And then... So I still have four points of damage, so that's going to add... It should be four critical damage. Yeah, but it's critical damage is divided in two for Space Marines. So two critical damage. Yes, so for I'm total glad three. It, I'm glad it didn't roll 200 like max roll. Because I don't think anyone would have survived at that point, right? I would have. I mean, you would have been fine. You would have came <laughs> onto a sh ship with a bunch of dead Space Marines in there. Or knocked out Space Marines, I should say. Okay, so, so with our stuff, my result in the critical impact for body, because this would be impact damage, it's just I get sprawled to the ground, I fly 1d5 meters away from the location, and fall prone. Uh, well, I then take 1d5 levels of fatigue, and I'm stunned for two rounds. Got it. What, what uh, cool. critical damage is that? Impact. Uh, impact on the body, because I imagine this would be an impact body look hit. Yeah, but yep. I mean, like, a uh, damage number. Oh, it's six, because I had 11 left over, so mm -hmm. half that would be six. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be my result. So I already, for me, I already had one critical damage before, so I'm adding another two for three. Yes. So would that be a two on the impact critical table or a three? three. Okay, three. Uh, it would be. A, how much damage did you say you had? I had one before. From the so your total now, thing. your total critical damage now is, is three. Is three. So it'd be a two on the table. Okay. I mean, why? Because you would have to round up. Because if it was just one, one divided by. No, uh, no, 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 he, like, uh, he, that's, the damage he's taking is already two. All right, like, your so adds to the already existing critical damage he had, which is what's Right. It's, so right. it's in total, so his, it's three. His total is three, but for right. the table, you divide that by two, and you'd have to round up, because otherwise you would get a zero result on one critical damage. I uh, thought that, well, no, because I already reduced that. So I would, okay. What? All right. I had 22 wounds... I now have zero. So there's okay. four more damage. I already cut that in half because I'm a space marine. You don't so... cut the damage itself in half. Ah. Only the effect? Yeah, it's just the effect on the table you cut in half. So I that puts me at five crit damage. And so technically... then your result that, is three. Technically, that put me at six because I would have had two already. Okay. So, okay, well then it's, yeah, it's still three. So, so you three. break a rib and you gain two levels of fatigue and you're stunned for a round. Crack, ouch. Don't worry, that'll heal up in a day. Alright, where the heck is fatigue? Cool. So, uh, then how many of my, my librarians you said um, were taking full damage? Uh, four. Four of them? All right, so those four burn a point to stay alive. Yeah, how many points do you have remaining after you guys burned everything? Oh, this we're, we have none left for this session, like spent-wise. But only three of those, or four of those librarians actually burned a point. Okay. Oh, did you spend those two fate points I gave you, too? Oh, shoot, that's right. Uh, uh, so, just want to clarify on. one thing. I just want to clarify one thing. If you successfully roll three rolls, you take you a quarter, quarter damage. Thank quarter you. damage. Yeah, that's, right. that's three rolls. Yeah. Cool. Well, I succeed all three of mine, so I actually take even less. Yay. You take a quarter. And, and this is for one of the librarian rolls. 
He's still fucked. Cool. So four right. of my librarians burn four of the or one of their fate. Okay. Each. And and two take and I take hang less on. damage. Real Half quick. Damage. So Dan just sent me the thing that Space Marines have, which is true grit. True grit. So let me read it off. Um, example, a uh, character takes a grievous wound from a Tyranid. After a reduction for armor and toughness, the uh, strike still deals 8 oh, damage. Oh, it does reduce the damage. It does reduce the damage, yeah. So I would only be at 3 crit damage and not 6. Does it? Yeah, it outright reduces the critical damage you yeah, take it by says half. That. Yep. Oh, so it's not the result on the table, it's just the it's critical damage you would the same suffer. Time. It reduces the total yes. damage you take, which also reduces the table. Alright, so I get one fatigue. Granted, that is applied to new wounds, not previous ones. So yeah. your new one cut in half would be added to your old. So in other words, it's not cumulative... Yeah, it's not you are only ever at half critical got wounds because then you'd it. never max out. And you'd be immortal. Where the heck is my fatigue? Uh... Alright, whatever. I think I'm good. Uh, that's, right, that's probably a good st stop point for the session, too. I agree. Uh, fatigue is near uh, movement, it's under movement. So yeah, go ahead and make sure you calculate dance for everyone. Uh, who's ah. knocked out? Like your whole squad, Yelmug? And you? No, you're fine now, right? With the quarter damage taken off? Yeah. Now, how would this affect people that rolled to avoid death outright? How would critical damage affect them? Would we put them up at like nine? Uh... Maybe. Yeah, those that took or half eight. damage from the stuff are fine. Uh, but the others, you had to take the full, what, 106? Yep. Okay, so they'd have to be at 8 critical Resist. effect impact, otherwise they're dead. 30 points in the critical table. Yeah, they definitely burn their... Uh... 30 points on the critical table. They can burn a... half is still 15. I'm sorry, 31 Ooh. points on the critical, uh, on still the critical table. They could burn, burn. No, 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 a fate no, no, no. Point That's survive, after right? I divided it by two. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. God. Damn. A, that's for if you took full damage. I reduced right. it for armor. I reduced the total wounds, uh, and then the what's left I divided by two for our unnatural toughness, uh, and then uh, the, yeah, the result is thirty-one on the critical table. Right. So burning a fate point, I think we should reduce that critical damage down to eight. Then, so they're not. Not That's the uh, shit. highest survivable one. Yep. I just tried it off. Well, the highest survival. Well, nine kills you. Yeah, nine and ten kill you outright, so it has to be eight. And ten just uh, AOEs their body against everybody around them. Yeah. Got it. So, fate points would bring him up to eight then, critical wounds. Yeah, yep. for those four. We could try and do the impact effects for uh, other things, like eight on a leg is uh, you lose a leg. I don't know. I mean, it depends. Maybe we split it over the impact area? I think just keeping it the body makes yeah, it. Yeah, I, I would imagine it's as body. easy as possible. I don't think you want to impact your head. You don't want to dive head first. Eight on the head is still death. Yeah, I would imagine. Seven on the head is uh, big concussion. Yeah, you want body. Well, you don't want body, but it's... Well, you get all brace for me. It's going to be body, so... All right, yeah. then. Body it is. God damn. And those damn. four... Yeah, those four... So what do they get on the critical wound table, then? 
Oh, for for botting. Uh, they suffer blood loss, which because of their stuff, they don't suffer blood loss, and uh, they just get one d10 levels of fatigue. Uh, they have uh, organ ruptures from their uh, from the internals. They get knocked down, uh, and then they suffer blood loss, which we can't suffer blood loss unless it's like warp based. Uh, and then they just take one d10 levels of fatigue. What's your fatigue threshold on those guys, though? I don't know. What does uh? Uh, the medic's oh. got eight. Oh, it would be ten. Because they're based off of my stats. So. Gotcha. Yep. My toughness on her is only 42, though. Her threshold is 42. No, no. Her toughness is 42. Her her fatigue threshold is eight. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so we... technically, she's still conscious. <coughs> we... She rolled a seven. Are we ending it here? What are we going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good, ending. It's a good stopping point. All right. And everyone's characters are sorted now? Like what happened? Yes. All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. So need... uh, I don't know if it's otherwise me. still functional. And if I recall, those are some of your secondary objectives you guys completed. Yeah, we took out ships. four. We took out uh, four ships. I'm pretty sure crashing one counts as taking out. Well, you you personally, your group took out took out two ships. Right. We'll take credit for the other two. Thank you. We we take nobody else. Our, our, uh, we were gaining like... credit for all of the ships destroyed in the battle too. Right. It didn't matter how many destroyed. Just it was how many were left at the end of our mission. Yep. Or how many were destroyed by the end of our mission. So what's our XP gains for this session? Bow. You what? I'm going to say that again. Two. A thousand? 250 for each of those ships. Okay. 250 each, so a thousand total. <clears throat> Sweet. Um, so 1,000. Yes. Yes. And uh, we completed objectives, so does that affect our renown or not yet? The warp entity was... The, uh, fleet survival was... Alright, you're going to have to type in, Boko. You're, you're going to you're, have to type it's in real chat. bad right now. Yep. Oh, uh, We're getting like every third word. Yeah, I'm, let's type in that's, chat. Oh. So our primary, primary was to kill the guy. We killed the guy. Our secondaries okay. were protect our fleet. We didn't do that. Also, for every ship destroyed was also a secondary. So we should only get renowned points for every one of their ships that got destroyed. Just like three or four. Is, well, it, it should be than more four. than that, I think. It's more than that. Yeah, because like, they uh, had uh, ships for this session. Oh, yeah, there was four this session, but that also includes all the ships that were destroyed 14. in the battle before. Actually, yeah, plus, five this session. Plus, we get one extra renown oh, for each four. of those because we were uh, using the glory oath, so we get extra renown for everything. Did you forget the Elta ship that rammed the ship we were on and then blew it up? That counts as a ship destroyed. No, that's five. It. Yeah, that's yeah. five this session, plus, but that's, that's the initial t 10 yeah, the that got destroyed session. in the battle. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fourteen ships in total. Yeah. By the way, we are getting like every third word you're saying, Boko, so we can oh, understand the word. Type it in chat, please. Yeah. Oh my heavens. <clears throat> yep. But remember, we are we're also getting one extra renown point for every objective completed. Um, because of our oath to glory. All right. So five. All right, so ships fourteen of session. their ships in total. Fourteen total. They're each what? Two renown. It'll be three renown then if we're getting a, the extra point for uh, Oath to Glory. All right. Roll one d. So that's uh, twenty-one. So as far no, as you're no you're, fourteen. You're, that's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Forty. Forty-two. Forty-two renown for uh, all the ships. 
Copy all members of a kill team which take this oath for an additional point of renown for each primary and secondary objective that the kill team completes. Wow, that's as long 42 as renown. Involved. We that have 42 renown. Holy shit. That yeah, from, that just, from just the ships, but then there's our primary objective too, which has uh, accounts for more renown on base site, but I don't know the, the totals. Uh, which is what? Don't know. I was also so. assuming that the, uh, the base renown for secondaries was two renown, but it could just be one, in which case we got 28 uh, renown instead of 42. I believe it was one for the, the tertiaries. Well, was... these were secondaries. Okay. So that'd be two for them, and then uh, four for the primary. Plus one each for Oath to Glory. What was that? Is that two base for secondaries? Yeah. Okay, so then 42 renown. Yeah, and then, and then seven uh, counting the primary. What? Primary was four plus one five. Yeah, yeah. So we got the forty-seven the total on top of our seventeen. So we should have sixty-four total renown. Jesus. All right. All right. Wow. Yeah, that's the end of mission three. We are really stacking it up. Holy shit. I mean, you guys did a lot. Yeah, true. It that was, was several a, sessions worth of stuff. For that, for mission number three, yes. Mission two was the initial, uh, the, uh, was it the black site? And no, 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 not bad for our second mission. <laughs> or for some of us, our first. All right. Well, yeah, I, I guess it would be technically the second mission. Yeah, it, the second it, it, one never finished. Uh, really. Holy crap! It's, it's scrapped in in the middle. Shit. Okay, it's available. Okay, we are now famed. Your reputation precedes you, and your deeds are known to battle brothers across the reach. Well, with all the crap that we just survived, uh, that seems appropriate. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Damn. Appropriate. So we now get what? We went Respected from, and famed? We went from initiated to famed after one set. Well, not one session, but like one mission. Oh. But yeah. Well, I mean, we are six in and in real real life terms. So it makes makes sense. That's good progression. That's fair. Cool. Wait, this says it's just one renowned point for primaries and one for secondaries. Yeah, it is. So that means we have a. The GM much less. can, of course, anytime reward renown. So maybe you just gave us extra. Who knows? I did. Okay. Because that warp he, entity. He made it worth more. That warp entity had had I not given Yelmug the strike team probably would have ate you guys for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. But then he then you also gave us an extra point for each of those ships. Yes. Because if it's one renown for each secondary, so you've awarded us two points no, for each. No, no, no. Actually, if you want to read rules as written, it's one if you complete all of your main objectives, period, and two if you complete all of your secondary, period. Oh, that's Not fair. each secondary. Which that's fair. You, you did. Which would have been four renown. Which was the initial fleet was wiped out. And they gave you a little extra for the four ships that you uh, knocked down. Yeah. <sighs> By the way, that was supposed to kill you guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Get wrecked. We noticed. Yeah, right. I don't want to be like uh, rocks fall on your head and you're all dead. I was like, no, let's make it a little interesting. All right, let's see. Let's see how they pull out of this one. Well, we put out something. Yeah. And uh, your ship that you were flying, I was rolling against you guys the whole time. It rolled in your favor. Except when it got above 50, then it didn't roll in your favor. Damn. Yeah, I was like 20. Like here's here's one 22 8, and then like an 88, on, and that was the explosion you saw. 71, 21, 77. So those are the two explosions that you had before, and then a 5, 46, 37. You did find that one. The first initial uh, moving. <laughs> Must have been. Or this. Or the second trip, yeah. Oh, I mean, the ship just didn't 
Yeah. Is the if you roll a hundred, you're like, well, I guess you're just eating. You're just just have to re-roll characters now. Mm -hmm. Like even that explosion. Uh, probably would have outright killed that uh, guy in the hallway. Yeah, probably. I figured you guys had enough co combat, so do a little RPing this time. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, if we didn't you die it, crashing We into call the it role-playing. You call it reaping. <laughs> I call it what? Reaping. 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 As if you're trying to kill us. Uh, Grim Reaper. Oh, well, I mean, not to you guys. I pose challenges that will be uh, worthy of a Space Marine. You literally just said that was supposed to kill you guys. Yeah. I mean, I could have done Rock Spawn yet, but yeah, I was, I was like, all right, let's, let's up it up to 10, right? Let's full bore against these guys. Yeah. I mean, rocks were going to fall on our head, or I guess we were going to fall into the rocks. Yeah, a giant rock would fall yep. on our... On, we would fall under a giant rock. Well, I mean, that's like you have no chance, no rolls, no saving, no nothing. You just right. eat, eat, eat shit and eat die. Eat shit and die, <laughs> yep. Uh, right. I could have, because I could easily gone, you know what? The the roll for this descent actually does does that much damage. Oh, God. Right, then you're all just That's dead. just splat. Ed, Jesus. So that's, <laughs> right. And, and, then, and, then, and then, like I said, all, all your fate points are deleted for whatever reason. Yeah, that's not fun. Can, can you can you imagine though, rolling that one d one thousand and you get like ten or lower and it's like, oh man, uh, you just shrugged off like a <laughs> nuclear bomb. Yeah. But what like, uh, oh no, the nuclear bomb was a dud. It was actually <laughs> just a firework. I think only Angler <laughs> would be able to withstand it. I'm not sure. Um, I think. Uh, I don't know. I think if we didn't die crashing to the moon, we certainly would have died on that hunk of junk of a Thunderhawk that got wave motion gunned at the end. Right? So. I can I, tell everyone to get out as fast as possible. Honestly, all things considered, I think we did pretty okay. And the rolls were in your favor. Because that could have been like, and you guys are all re-rolling characters. Could have been worse, to be honest, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's the patrol craft could have been all right, and that other ship. Uh, I just realized I didn't take any crit damage. Really? Yeah. Well, if it was a quarter, then it's twenty-seven damage. Yep. And my armor sucks twenty-two of that, so I only had five left. Oh, I yeah, didn't I even factor and I was in my full armor. Wounds, so. I didn't even fucking factor in my armor. Oh well. So I didn't take matter. any crit damage. I'll just. I'll just suck it up and deal with the crit damage. I don't care. Those librarians still had to burn their four because they were absolutely dead. Yeah. Technically, I right. shouldn't have had so, to roll the descend. Yeah, so ne next session, I'm going to prep a new mission because Arise pushes off the Eldar. You, shit, you don't have to worry about. All right. Sweet. Uh, so, we'll be playing a new mission. All right. I cannot that wait. Mission is Get back to society. Right, I figured that was a good... <laughs> from spanking the first person he sees. Right. <laughs> I figured that was a good, good ending to the mission, so... Oh, shit. All right, well, Just damn, that ship. was... That was awesome. I will see all of you next week. All right, yeah. then. See you. Later.